and the lovely Leone. And then it's seven days, save a sensei. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the center of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favorite shows 24 hours a day, seven days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hello, I'm Sue Trangmar and I started Daisy Chain Designs 20 years ago. Back in the day, there were very few quilt patterns in the marketplace. And so uh, I started to bring patterns into the UK from America and Australia. And along the way, I've been lucky enough to work with some fantastic British designers. And that is what really the essence of Daisy Chain Designs are. At Daisy Chain Designs, we're passionate about sewing and quilting. We design projects that hopefully will inspire you to pick up your needle and thread and have a go. Uh, we have great fun in designing things from the very start and then the end product is always very exciting when you actually see it made. So don't miss the Daisy Chain Design shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque, and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images, which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals. And then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, Join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. Good evening to you. I hope you are well. Welcome to our seven o'clock hour with the lovely, delicious, gorgeously talented 
Julie Hickey. Not just the designs and stamps, but the lady herself. She's here in the studio. How are how the devil are you, Julie? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. And how are you, Janice? Yeah, I'm really, really good. And I'm so pleased to be doing the show with you. I'm so glad that we've had a chance to have a show together. Yeah, definitely. Because I do admire what you do and I thank love you. watching. You're so, so inspirational. Thank um, you. Yeah, and I love you. Oh, there you go. Love there you, you too, go. Janice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, we've got a fantastic deal, haven't we, Julie? We have. It mm. is amazing. Yeah. Very it really much so. is. Um, now, we've got a whole complete collection for you. We can break it down if you want to, uh, but you can buy that whole complete collection on Flexibuy. It makes it affordable. The thing is, you divide the cost over two months, not the products. You know, sometimes you buy a certain amount of products and you go, oh, I wish I had the rest, or oh, I'll wait till next month. You don't have to wait till next month. We'll get everything delivered to you, right to your door, and you'll only pay half the price today. Sounds like a good deal? If you're a Freedom member, you are saving £12.99 pence. So there's no PMP to pay on that price. Now, there are 55 stamps and 11 dies in that complete collection. So that makes 66 elements. Yep. I'm thinking, and I'm trying to figure this out, £1.9 per element. I think it is, yeah. There you go, as a Freedom member. Now, I love that particular set of dies with the background, and there's a gorgeous sample. I believe that's out at the front or somewhere. I think I've got it just here. Yeah. Oh, I've got it just here. Um, that when I walked into the studio, when I saw Julie before the show, I picked this up and I was like, wow, where did you get all those papers from? And Julie said, no, it's a stamp. And then I saw it in that complete collection. Isn't that fantastic? That is absolutely, I love this design. Did you do this, Julie? I did, yes. Absolutely beautiful card. Philippa made it for us and she's actually used the thin lines as well where she's gold embossed them and use them as frames to frame around and to stamp on as well. Yeah, that just looks, looks beautiful. It really does, doesn't it? It's like it? fabric patchwork, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, now there you go. That will yeah. open up some designs for you. <laughs> How amazing. Uh, right, the details for you, 908013 is your item number. We'll go through them individually for you because you can buy them individually. So where are we going to start? in the middle thinking of you with the die so you've got the corresponding die with the stamp and it also comes with happy birthday as well and that's just 19 pounds and 98 pence um, what a wonderful way to be able to stamp and then cut out with that lovely white crisp edge so to give you that real frame around the sentiment and for it to be the focal point on your card i wanted it to be quite large and I absolutely love the font that we've got for it. It's absolutely perfect. Great for men's cards or for female cards. Yes. Works for both, definitely. Yeah, do you know what? It's, it is a lovely font. And it reminds me, you know when you look at certain fonts and things, remind, that reminds me of actually Happy Days, a television programme, and I don't know why. Like oh, a 1950s right, yeah. style, yeah. you know, like a diner style. I love it. Yeah. And just to reiterate that, if I just bring this one up, that's really effective in white with the black background. Yeah, so that's embossed in white. So they wow. emboss beautifully as well. And I'm going to show you a really clever tip of how to align everything up when yes. you're die cutting and stamping. Beautiful. I really like that. That is superb. £19.98 pence if you want to go for five stamps and the two dies there for you. Uh, great price at 762159. Uh, next up, we've got the banner dies. Now, these are really useful, aren't they? And very, very handy for all kinds of cards. Uh, journaling, for example. Yeah. Um, putting in your planners and things like that. So I think it's a great set. £22.99. 983337. Again, it's those banners that are just fabulous to work with. Definitely. So with uh, all the sentiments that come with that banner stamp and the die, uh, obviously fit inside. So you can change the sentiments up. You've got um, you're the best, you've got happy birthday, you've got have a great day just for you. I can't remember the other one. Um, you're a star. Oh, you're a star. Thank you. And then because there's little stars as well yes. in there so that you can decorate them as well. But then to be able to die cut that out as well, it's perfect. Love that. So you've got the, um, do you get the, the, the heart, the text in this set? Yeah, so the text oh comes my. in the, with the Create With Shapes. That's brilliant. So it's actually just like the, the texture plate. So all those patterns, you yeah. can either use them as they are, or you can die, stamp and emboss them and die cut into them, whatever you want to. What you, a great idea. You can put the text, you could ink up one of the solid stamps yeah. in a pale colour. 
ink up the text or the chevrons in a darker colour yes. and then stamp that onto the circle and then stamp it again. What a great idea. What a great idea. And that's going to encourage you and help you develop, building up your background, maybe using it, you know, for your grungy type designs or your clean cut designs. This is a lovely one and that's using that stamp there in the background just as we have suggested. £22.98, that's a great little duo if you want to go for those. 983337. Now we've also got the floral and the butterflies we'll head to those there you go uh, and with these you've got your dies and you've got your stamps so the dies are the love hearts but with the butterflies you've got the dies and the stamps is that right Julie yes you have you've got the solid stamp so whether you want to do those in a pale color and then stamp over the top with a darker color with black on the card you're looking at, Emma Smith has actually embossed all those butterflies and they just look amazing. Wow. And then I love this one, this rainbow that Hazel created using all the different um, butterfly dyes and stamping them up with the different colours. But she's just die cut them and layered them into the card. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Oh and then the one that word. Sue Morgan's done, that like very mixed media with the butterflies yes. as well. So giving it a totally different look. And then to go to that very clean and simple one that Kaz has made, using the joyful blooms but putting the butterfly in the centre. So everything really works well together. It certainly does. You can see the love heart there as well. Uh, I love the design of the butterflies as well because it's something very modern but you could also change it to uh, a really cool vintage style design depending of course on the colours that you use. And this is lovely just on the background with that dotty paper just there. You can see beautifully coloured in and then that whole array of flowers as well. How pretty. Beautiful isn't it? It really so, is. And it, we were saying that this more, uh, sorry, earlier on that it's, the stamp designs are lovely if you want to stamp and emboss them, if you just want to stamp them. But if you love colouring, then I've given you lots of empty spaces to fill with lots of different colours. Oh, I like that. I like that. £19.98, four six zero eight nine two. And finally, remember, these are all in that complete uh, bundle if you want to go for it. But we're giving you the option to buy in a separate mini individual bundles. So your next one, the last one, 13 stamps in total. Beautiful florals here. And I believe that stamp there is from the sample I've just showed you. £21.97. pence. And what's nice about that, Julie, is that you can keep building and building and building and building and building and building and make a really long or deep meadow with the yes, masking techniques that absolutely. you can use. Absolutely. You could layer your flowers mm. up as well so you could have it going further and further away. That's so pretty. Absolutely. You know, I love your drawings. Thank I you. really do. I love your flowers. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Uh, and when you stamp these out, you just want to colour them. That's what you want to do. <laughs> or because you've got those lovely sketchy designs in there, what's really nice when you know when you create a background, even if you just lodging your, your inks on yep. when you stamp that in black on top oh. or in white it's going to look spectacular just looks amazing doesn't it yeah and we've also along the front we've got um, an embroidery that my friend mary did for us using the garden medley stamp um, and she's she enlarged it slightly so that she could fill the whole of the eight by eight ring but look at all, the, all those flowers wow. embroidered, all the different stitches. She's added sequins. It's absolutely beautiful. Certainly. Doesn't that give you more ideas? Absolutely. And I'm quite happy for people if they want to scan the, the images in and enlarge them slightly to do things like that. I'm quite happy for them oh, to do thanks, that. Thanks, Julie. What is the angel policy, by the way, whilst we're talking about it? Make as much as you can and sell it for as much as you can. Excellent. We like that, don't we, everyone? We certainly do. Uh, I've got a couple of cards to show you here. Uh, with some of the smaller stamps just to show you how beautiful these are as well when you use these in different ways to make your uh, frames or to make your cards have them as a feature oh aren't these beautiful yeah. right if you can't decide 55 stamps and 11 dies in total can be yours today for 39.96 or if you are a Freedom member, it gets even better. It's a why not deal because if you become a Freedom member today, here in the UK, 697, you'll become a Freedom member, you'll still be making a saving on that. So we kind of, if you go for it, you're a Freedom member for a whole month and you've not really paid for it through the savings that you're getting. It really is an amazing deal. 908-013 is your item number. Now, if you do put that into your basket, uh, or any of the items on the show, uh, we've got a special deal for you at the checkout. And uh, we'll head to the head checkout to show you because this is called an end of call. And uh, what we can do, we can put all of it on Flexi if we want to. 
and that's going to give you that beautiful sunflower stamp set. Six stamps in total. Now a little story about this. We, I do remember launching a show with Julie where we had the large sunflower and it was incredible. But Julie had lots of people ask if they could do a smaller version. So, being true to her word, listening to you guys, We've got the smaller version, but it's still jam-packed with all of those beautiful designs, and it looks amazing when you stamp that out. So do consider that. It's only £4.99. I've got a couple of samples to show you here, um, because I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And some flowers always bring a smile to your face, but they look sensational with those love hearts in there. I'll show you the stamp and the extra bits that you get. Only four ninety nine. can you believe that? Um, that's one sample there which is absolutely stunning and beautiful. Another one here, let me lift this one up because this is really making me smile. Look at the colours in that one. Look at, now that's sunflower colours, isn't it? <laughs> that's beautiful, Julie, isn't it? Yeah, I did that one actually. Did you? Oh, yeah, there did. you go, there you go. And I'm not <laughs> sucking up to the teacher or anything like that before you say that at it's home. Like you can suck up as much as you like. <laughs> it is, it's, <laughs> wow. Uh, it's beautiful and another one there to show you as well right let's head to the demo so that Julie can uh, show you her magic what we're we gonna have a look at Julie okay so I'm gonna show you how I made this card using the mini floral border heartfelt border sorry um, and I do like to give you the extra flower stamps could that you, you just get tilt that to your well. left I think it's the left just to the camera just tilt the card there oh, you go I see. okay there we go that's better <laughs> <laughs> left right which well, <laughs> I don't know my right from my left, so I think, I think we did really Nor well there, I. Julie. <laughs> uh, I do like to give you the extra flowers as well, so that you can cut out different elements and add them to your cards, and you've got that beautiful sentiment as well. But it's using the um, Create With Shapes to create this gingham effect, plaid effect down the side as oh, well. Oh, I like that. So, I'm going to start off, I've got my stamping press, and I'm going to put my card in here and put it, place it down. I've got my score along the edge here take my stamp and I'm going to stamp this twice because the stamp as it is isn't long enough <coughs> for the complete design so I'm going to move it I want to come in a little bit because I'm going to cut the edge to be the same shape as the flowers okay so then I can pick my stamp up I do like your <coughs> dress by the way Julia again I'm not sucking up to the teacher what, I love your dress oh thank you it's beautiful thank beautiful you. colors so then ink up my stamp and I'm using um, Versafine because I want to be able to colour this in. And just gently, because we're using the stamp press, if I don't get a full image out, I can, <coughs> excuse me, I can re-stamp it. Oh. You, have you got a drink of water? I can't believe that. Look at my thumb. Oh, I've just done it on my card. Julie, Julie, Julie. And I went to lick my fingers. Right, okay, I just cleaned my thumb off. And I was doing all that sucking up and building you up. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Right, the ink's gone. Okay. I'm going to turn my card over and stamp it again. Okay. I'm glad this is only, I'm going to move on to one I prepared earlier in a minute. It is a good job. <laughs> okay, so we can stamp that again. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take my stamp out. I'm just going to move this up. Okay. Because I just want to stamp the bottom of my card now. And as long as I use my magnets to hold everything in place, I don't have to clean my stamp or take my stamp out. But make sure that that's all lined up then I only need to ink up the top part and I can stamp that down oh I didn't quite catch the bottom of the stamp sorry so when you go in again you only want to stamp very lightly because I only wanted to get that bottom part oh, come out again so oh, now I lovely. have my border and then I will cut round the edge of here but I just, rather than cut that out, I want to show you how I did a little bit of the watercolour in. So I'm using an ink pad, and I'm going to put some of this down on my craft, on my mat. And I'm just going to use my water brush to pick some of the colour up, and then I just put some colour down in the centre of my flowers. And I go down and do a few of the flowers at a time. Because That's when a nice you're using. Colour the oxides and you're doing water colouring with them, you need to let the colours dry before you go back to them and add another layer. Okay. So this is a good way of doing it. I mean, if you're impatient like me, this is the best way to do it because you, by the time you get to the bottom, the top will be yeah, dry. Tr it, exactly. And if you try and, I'm going to pull the colour out, but if you try and do it while it's still wet, it doesn't give you such a nice result. So you're yeah. much better 
to work your way down the card and then you can go back, like you say, to the top. Can you do this with normal uh, watercolour paints or yep, is it just with absolutely. the... Yeah. anything. If you've just got um, children's felt tip pens, if you scribble them out on a dinner plate and then pick the colour up from there with a water brush, or just a paintbrush and some water if you haven't got a water brush, but you will then be able to use that colour. But when you pull it out, it will be much softer. So you get oh. lovely pale colours yeah, from I them. I thought about doing that. So now I can come back in. I might need to pick up just a little bit of colour, go over the top and then just drag the rest of it out to the bottom of the petals and that way you're going to get the different tones of the ink showing so maybe oh, always start back in the middle but then just push the colour out to the edges so I, d I didn't want to do all of the card because I've done one that I've prepared earlier but I just wanted to show how easy it is just with ink pads just to create that lovely soft watercolour effect and I would I wanted to do a different colour because I don't often make cards twice when I've made a design it's like okay move on and let's have a different idea yeah so when I do make something again it's much nicer to have it in a different colour combination that's really pretty I really like that and that's going down the side of your card it's going to be portrait not landscape yes but it would work landscape had, as well. It would, but yeah. I had to think for a minute. What, yeah, so did what, I. Which was which. <laughs> Words just come out of my mouth sometimes and I don't, I don't think. No, you're absolutely right. So I'd be quite happy with that if I want to go back in and do some darker bits in the centre again. I can do that if I want to. And then I would colour my leaves in and I've picked um, Lucky Clover, which is a really nice, sort of. it's not a spring green, it's a much darker green. Yes. So I have one here that I have prepared earlier. So I've done all my stamping, done my colouring, and I've done the plaid work on the oh, inside of my yes. card. But I'm going to show how I created that down the, down the outside edge. Yes. So I get my platform back, and just very quickly, I don't um, clean my stamps anymore with baby wipes. I use a water spritzer and a cloth. Good. And that way, yep, helping the planet and also yes helping my stamps because they don't get all horrible and hairy like they used to with um, when you use a baby wipe. Yes. So now I'm going to put my card back in my press and I'm going to work upside down because it doesn't matter. Use my magnet to hold it down and then I'm going to use the long open lines which I'm going to line up down the edge of my card and pick up and then I'm going to stamp with Make sure I do it the same. I did that with the blue. So I do this with peacock feathers. Okay. And when I designed the stamps, I wanted them to be longer than a card. So these are, I think it's 16 centimetres long, the actual stamps. We're just looking at the set now that you're getting. If you want to go for it individually, you can do. Um, details are at the bottom of the screen, but it is in that larger bundle. And if you look at the first payment as a Freedom member, 35.96, and then look at the payment for those two, you might as well go for the complete bundle and then pay another 35.96 next month. There will be that to pay, of course, but you'll be getting so much more for your money. Absolutely, and when everything mixes and matches and works yes. so well together. So I've stamped my lines down the edge here. So now I'm going to use the paper here as a guide and I'm going to move the card along. So I'm making sure that I'm lining it up with the lines that we've got on the actual printed paper. And then I can print my second line. So come in, stamp that down, and then That's I can move it clever. again. And where the stamp overhangs as well, it's really quite good because you can see where the lines are, where they're going to come. So that gives you an idea of where to place everything in your press as well. So again, inking it up. And I just want three lines going down. So I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to clean my stamp off. Swipe. The blue off now when you see it there it doesn't look like it's captured everything but it's only because we've got these bright lights in the studio yes. but those lines are perfect because we've got that on another shot which looks perfect there you go okay so I'm then going to take the stamp and I'm just going to line it up on a block and I know it's hanging over the edge but it doesn't matter which is really weird because I think it's because I'm left-handed I really feel like I need to be able to do it down the right <laughs> down the left side that will be fine. So I'm not going to use it as the, as the press now, but I'm going to use the 
I'm going to stamp in the press because of the foam cushion. Yeah. So it's really good to use that as a basis. So then I'm over stamping with my green and I'm going to come in at different levels. So I want it to go, not all be in a straight line. That was the effect that I was after. So I'll make some longer oh. and some shorter. If you were to use different colours, could you make like a tartan style Oh, you effect? could. In fact, you've got a card in the um, Create Your Shapes pile that's got a plaid background that's got a dad embossed in it. Oh, I'll have a look for that. And it's in blues and browns that Kaz made. And it's absolutely perfect example of the plaid that you can make with it. It's lovely. But you could do tartans, yep. You could. So these would be great for Christmas, do some Christmas backgrounds. I don't think it was out on the front. I think it was in... In that pile under there, this one. that's it, right. that's the one, yep. I'm looking, I will f oh, found it. Look, oh. Isn't it lovely? I thought that was paper. No, so this that's was made stamp. That was made with the stamp. Yeah. How amazing is that? That is amazing. I really thought that was just some, not just some paper. But that, I thought that was paper, that's amazing. But that's fabulous that you thought it was paper. Yeah, I did. That is superb. Or you can make all kinds of different plaids with your favourite colours. You could, definitely. I like the idea of that. Excellent. Okay, so now I've stamped down the edge. So now I'm going to use the wording from my stamp set. And I'm going to place that towards the bottom. And I'm going to do this in black. So making sure I've got that lined up. And do that in black over the top. And then I always like to try and give you extra flowers because I think it's really useful. If you want to 3D them, you can do that. But it's really lovely just to add a couple of flowers around oh. your sentiment because you're drawing your eye down to the sentiment as well then. So I've already stamped and coloured them and cut them out. Oh, and I tested this before. We've got another Sorry. one to show you actually here with that plaid background used uh, with the stamp. Yeah. Isn't that lovely with the yeah. butterfly on? How sweet. And that one I over stamped with the, so I used the, the solid lines behind and then put the, the thin lines, like the open lines on the top. Oh, you could have a lot of fun doing that. So let's put that one up there. And then the other one. And then I've just got a few little... Um, like enamels to put in the centre of these and this is quite exciting because this is uh, something that's coming soon Oh is it now? Yeah, so I'm teasing now A sneaky peek <laughs> So a sneaky peek at something that's to come Not too long to wait either Good, so oh they look good. great Aren't they lovely? Yeah So we've got rainbow colours and black and greys and whites as well and we've got hearts too the grey works so well it does doesn't it so just whoops stuck to my nail that'd be good nail art <laughs> <It would. laughs> okay so let me move take the stamp away how did you get the cut down the side oh so what i did sorry i literally with my scissors cut around leaving a little border because I always leave a little border I find it much easier and you're not having to be quite so fussy yeah with your, if you like fussy cutting then you could really fussy cut I think it looks nice with the white border though because it yeah, balances I think it, with the white space on the card yes yeah and then the fact that I've put the the plaid inside as well so you see a bit of that poking yeah poking out so yeah so just with my scissors if you're happier working with a craft knife, use the craft knife. But literally, working all the way down or up, whichever way you'd like to cut. And then you've got that lovely edge. So it just adds that bit of interest to it as well. Doesn't it just? Isn't that pretty? And there's so many different things and different designs that you can do with the stamps. You could have it in a row of flowers like that. You could use your techniques with masking and layering up. You could have the flowers in different colours. It's going to look absolutely fantastic. Go for that complete collection. And the beauty of that is that you've got it delivered 
all to your door in one go and it means you could be refreshing all of your collection and you've got something now to work with for the coming months and beyond really now the complete collection stock wise half the stock has gone half the stock of that complete collection it's a great discount as a freedom member you're saving 12 pounds and 99 pence and you can divide the cost into two. It's a why not deal. Now your membership for Freedom for one month here in the UK is six pounds and ninety-seven pence. So if you were to become a Freedom member today, take that six pounds and ninety-seven pence off your twelve ninety-nine saving, and you're still saving somewhere in the region of six pounds, aren't you? It's a why not deal. It's a why not deal to become a Freedom member today. Plenty more savings on the website and no PMP to pay. So individually, let's take a look. We're going to go and have a look at happy birthday. Um, if you want that sentiment to look fantastic, here it is. And it comes with thinking of you as well. So you've got your stamp and you've got your die. The die will cut out the stamp for you and it will look tremendous um, and it doesn't matter who the birthday card is for whether it's a male or masculine whether it's clean tidy grungy um, it's going to look fantastic and the nice element is that when you cut it out you can have it brought forward on the card so it really does look effective I really like this particular design um, then you can really funk up your backgrounds because you've got your sentiment right there and you could just have the sentiment right there in the middle, which is really cool. And they're oh, sorry. Uh, and those are those. Um, there are those lines again. Uh, birthday cards in blue. Birthday cards in bright colours. Yeah. So same sentiment. But do you notice on this one here? I don't know if it's my right or left. I'll just give it a wiggle. That one there. It's slightly at an angle, and it looks completely different to that one. So oh, you've got, good, yeah, yeah, so you've got all those different styles that you can complete just by tilting and changing. Maybe use the stamp and create a background and just have it coming in off the side of the page and create that background of either happy birthday or thinking of you. £19.98, 762159 is your item number. And the great thing about that set is you can use that, of course, with all the other stamps that you've got on the show and stamps that you've got at home. Next up, we've got that great set of the banners and the backgrounds and the shapes. Love this. $22.98. You've also got uh, a die in there as well for cutting out the banner. I think this is a great set to get. If your budget won't allow you to go to the complete collection or the flexi payment, then I think this is perfect because you've got backgrounds. Now, the stamps themselves, small but effective because you can just restamp that and restamp that and restamp that. So it's a great size to use. Building up those backgrounds, whether it be a smaller background or a larger background, you've got the flexibility to do it in that way. You've also got the sentiments. You're the best. You're a star. Happy birthday. Have a great day just for you. And that lovely banner as well. And if you want to, you could also write your own sentiment in that banner. A couple of samples here. This is lovely. I hope this comes across on TV. So beautiful background and then you've got that lovely embossed technique, that background stamp. Isn't that effective? Just that in the middle. Even if it didn't have anything else, that looks fantastic. It'd also be great as a key ring, would it not? Uh, another sample here showing you a background. Again with the two, very, very effective with the banner as well. Um, oh, can I show you one more sample? I've just seen this. I'm just showing you a variety. I know I show you quite a few, but I want to show you a variety. I like that. That is that's well cool. Thank you. I like that too. That is well cool. I really enjoyed making that one. Yeah, I love that. Uh, Nine eight three 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 seven is your item number if you want to go for your banner stamp and die set. Right, let's talk about flowers. Let's talk about beautiful blooming flowers. Um, I blooming love these, and I mean that with the utmost respect to you guys at home, because I love Julie's designs. I really, really do. There's just something about them. When you stamp them out, you just want to colour them in. Or you want to create a background just to stamp the black outline on. Here's a lovely example of using the stamp to go on fabric and then using that to embroider onto. I think that is absolutely remarkable. But the flowers themselves would make wonderful backgrounds to the sentiments of your choice, would make lovely borders and frames in your journals, in your scrapbooking, making cards as well. I mean, that one you're seeing there, that particular sample is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? 
How lovely is that? Especially with your embossing techniques as well. Uh, use the stamps as a background, create your own papers, create your own wrapping paper, and then have um, an accompanying um, tag with that if you want to as well. That's so pretty, isn't it? Just the word happy. And it is, it makes you happy, doesn't it, with that border. Uh, another one here, just bring this in, because we've got the love hearts, but we've got the flowers building up that background. And look, they open up as well. What a lovely design, isn't that fantastic? And then going for that plaid as well, or plaid check, and then using the flowers down the side. So they work really well down the side, but if that was also like that, it would also work perfectly. Uh, 21 pounds and 97 pence, 462227 if you want to go for your joyful blooms and your garden melody. Then we've got your butterflies. Here they are. Now, the butterflies, you've got your sketchy detail, but you've got the stamp just to create a background. So do they, do they accompany each other? Yeah, they lay. So you can, um, the solid ones you could do in a light colour, and then you could overstamp the detail butterflies in a darker colour, and then your dyes will cut the whole thing out. Perfect, love that. And if you wanted to, if you want to just stamp the background and then draw your own butterfly in, I guess yeah, you can. You could. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. It's, it's, a, it's a great way of doing all of those techniques. That card is stunning. Isn't it beautiful? The work. How many butterflies wow. is on there? Wow. And that one as well with all the different colours to the butterfly. Happy birthday. And then you've got that lovely mixed media style as well with the butterflies flying across with the different size butterflies. I've got a couple of samples here to show you the background and the detail. This is a lovely card, isn't it? Lovely colours that have been used in that. And the banner has been used just there and your outline stamps on the side. So this is the real reason why you should go for that complete bundle because all of them together make wonderful, fantastic cards. Another example there of using the backgrounds with the uh, stamps in the middle. Superb. And it's only £19.98. Unleash your creativity. 460892 is your item number if you want to go for that set. Now, the end of call, do I still, I just, I'm going to go and pick it up, because uh, this is lovely. Now, I did a show with Julie where we had a large sunflower stamp. Well, you asked for a smaller one, you've got a smaller one, and you've got a great price at the end of call. It's only 4 99 You've got your sentiments on there as well. So if you give us a call, ask the operator, just say, can I have the end of call, please, for the Julie Hickey stamp. And if you're on the website, this is how we do it. So we put our order in, we'll go for FlexiBuy, and then we shall agree to the terms and conditions. And then we've got that add-on. So we can choose that if we want to, pop it in. Perfect. There you go, and that's now added. Um, it's a great way, though, of building up. Here's another lovely sample just to show you of how you can just add all of those uh, sunflowers up. Right, back to Julie, another demonstration. What are we going to have a look at? Okay, so I just wanted to show, these were the, the two cards that we just made. So using the um, outline stripes to create the plaid here. But I also wanted to show this one that Kaz made and just how different you can get the look but using the same stamp. So she's used the solid one underneath in a pale colour and then gone over the top to create that pad in a darker colour. So you can create your own background papers with them as well. So I think there's a really useful and versatile Definitely. stamp set. So I'm going to use it again. This time I'm going to create a card for a man. Oh, I like that. <laughs> for the guys. These are the hardest cards I find to make. So um, I think this would do whether this person was six or 66, Definitely. to be honest. So I've broken it down into different stages. I'm going to show you how we can align the stamping with our die cutting as well. So I'll show you a really clever trick to get that right every time. So I have, I've done a little, gone ahead and done a little bit. So I've done my stripes down onto my card. So I'm using the thin rubber stamp this time and I'm using the solid one to create my stripes. And I will line this up with my previous stamping. So I've got roughly the same border. And this is where a stamp between. platform really does oh, come into its own, it comes it? into its own this time, it really does. And I'm trying to think if I've got this up the right way now for moving. Um, right, no, let me reposition this. If I move this over here, I can keep moving my card back until I've filled it all up. So sorry, let me reposition my piece of card. And I have a piece on the back, on the bottom here. Yeah, I noticed just prote that. Ah. protecting the bottom of my card because that's where I'm going to put my circles. Good idea, great tip. So sorry, I'll re reposition and leave a border, a gap, sorry, not a border, a gap between 
my stripes, hoping I've got it about the same. Can I say hello to everyone on Facebook Live? We've got Facebook Live as well, Julie, tonight. Oh, have we? Excellent. Yes. Um, so hello to everyone on Facebook Live. If you've not ventured on to Facebook Live, you can go and have a chat with all the people that are on there. It's great, it really is. And we've also had an email from Paula, our lovely Paula. Oh, bless her. And Paula says she gets to watch her two lovely friends <laughs> having dinner. Well, we're not having dinner. The lovely Paula's having dinner. <laughs> oh, I wonder what she's having. Yeah, I wonder. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. More to the point, what's she having for dessert? <laughs> Something to do with chocolate. Something name, chocolatey, Paola. probably. Uh, Paula's with us tomorrow, I think, unless she's on holiday. Um, so we look forward to seeing Paula tomorrow. Excellent. And that's lovely that she emailed in. Yes. Perfect. So I've just, I've been stamping my stripes on this card twice because I wanted really strong colours. So now I can move this along, and again, I'm using the grid paper to help. But I can also see where the excess is. Yeah, went I noticed on here. that. That's a good way of So measuring. it really does help to, to make sure you're spacing it properly. And because it's a solid stamp, um, sometimes you don't get a good impression the first time. So that's another beauty of the stamping press where you can go over it. So you can just ink it up. Because you're using your magnets to hold everything in place, you know that as long as it doesn't move, you're going to be fine. So looking, very at, looking at that, Julie, you could use it if you wanted to for like a woods. Yes. So you could stamp it and then you could like add some details add, so it's add like the, little like ash trees. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Because everybody sees it differently and that's the beauty they, of using stamps, isn't and that, it? That's the beauty of like having a design team. You know, okay, I could make all the, the cards. It would yes. be very boring because they would all be a very similar style for the customers to see. Um, so that's the beauty when you've got a design team. You know, they, they do things with the stamps. It's like, I drew it and I didn't even think of, would never have thought yeah. of doing that, you know? So it's fabulous. I have to thank um, Kaz and Emma and Hazel and Philippa and Sue because I just couldn't do the shows without them. So. Yeah, thank you guys. It's always yeah, lovely. Great help. And that's why we try to show you as many samples as we can. Absolutely. Not only because uh, it's inspirational for everyone yeah. at home, but because the design team have worked so hard. So it's a, it's a huge thank you to them. But also gives you inspiration when you see cards like this and they think, oh my, yep, yeah, that's the one that I'm going to go for. I think that's really pretty, don't you? With the rainbow colours, and again, this particular stamp that Julie's using, oh my word! If you were if you were to do the rainbow colours, yeah, <gasps> it's just just a would... happy. It's a happy card when you use the rainbow colours, yeah, isn't, it is, it? isn't it? It really is. It really is. So I've just got a couple more stripes to go. So if you want to show samples, I'm more than happy because that's all I'm doing. I've moved it along again, used the grid, using my line at the top here to try and keep everything straight. And just stamping down a couple of times, clean my stamp off and then move it again. And then I can line this up. Do you have a favourite time of the day to craft or design, Julie? Um, I'm... I'm a, a morning person, oh, yeah. so I would probably do my bit. I tend to sit down, if I'm, if I'm designing, I tend to sit down and let, make lots of scribbles and, and then go and have a, a proper play at drawing. Yes. Um, but everything starts off as a scribble beforehand. <laughs> and if I'm doing the same with cards, if I, when I get the stamps, I make myself a cuppa, sit down, and I draw lots of card designs out. Now, I might not make them all, or I might not do exactly what I've drawn but it's just a starting yes. point for me yeah. so yeah that's how I usually work uh, now our Paula has emailed back All right. and Paula says she's having <laughs> to make us hungry Julie she's having rice noodles and seafood Ooh, lovely. and some dark chocolate for dessert <laughs> but Paula's on holiday for a couple of days so you guys won't see her tomorrow so I'm sorry about that sorry I didn't realize she was on holiday how, how did lovely. we know she was having chocolate <laughs> Okay, so I've got my stripes now, so now I'm going to do my circles. So I can use my bottom piece of my card and place that over the top because I want to stamp some circles. And then I'm going to put a strip of card across so that that piece will be covered anyway. So I've got, got my circle stamp on my block. Now I'm going to do this technique that I did earlier and I didn't... How can I do it? Um, right, we'll do it this way. So I don't have another block, so I'm going to use... 
the stamp on the stamping press. Okay. I'm going to ink it up with a darker colour. Okay, so I've put the peacock feathers on my circle and I've got blueprint sketch on my stamp. Okay. And then I'm going to stamp onto the chevrons. And now what will happen is I've got the pattern on here now on my stamp. And when I stamp this down, I'm going to get some blue and some peacock feathers and my chevrons. Oh, wow. Yeah, So you I can like get that. patterns onto your stamps by doing that. So you want to use light colours and dark colours to do that. Okay. I'm not sure I've got enough room, so we'll put a bit more blue ink on. Now, we've got 15 minutes left of this show. Um, you're not back tonight or tomorrow, Julie? No, no, this is it now. So this is your chance now. Uh, you can catch, of course, the show on Rewind as well. It is available on the website for 60 days. The reason why I'm telling you that is because when you get your complete collection home, you can craft along with Julie. So it's your own little workshop in your own time. And you'll be inspired yet again by these lovely samples. You'll have your stamps and your dies with you. And you'll be able to reach for them and then you'll be able to make and create. Now, the earlier show today was 3 o'clock, if you want to watch that one back. Um, I think that was with Catherine. It was, yeah. Um, so, yes, you guys make your choice. It's Catherine or myself, that's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know you'll watch Catherine. But the main factor is that you've got Julie in both of those shows. Oh, thank you. I've just found something else that works just as well. So I didn't put any ink on my stamp. Yeah. But I've stamped into my chevrons and I've picked the colour up, so I've just got the pattern of the chevrons hey, now. Hey, that's cool. How lovely does that look? Yeah. So pick the colour up, and then stamp it down. And I didn't clean that off last time, so I've got double chevrons. <laughs> I like this. It's good, <laughs> isn't it? So if I put some on there, and I pick that up, I should better do that on the top of that one. There Perfect. we go. Right, so I need a couple more, sorry. I'm Never carried away here. Never apologise. So I have one there and one there, and I will just pick up a little bit of colour and do that one. Okay, so we've got a mixture of some patterns and some planes. I'm happy with that. Okay, so let's clean this one off. So just a different way of, you know, you can do that with your solid stars, with the solid circles, with the triangles, with the hexagons. So lots of nice shapes that work really well together. Okay. So I've got my card. And that's ready to go on my, sorry, onto my backing card. So this bit is going to be glued down onto here. And then I'm going to show you the trick for making sure you line up your happy birthday when you die cut it every time. So I cut this down in size so I've got a little bit of a border showing. And then I've got my happy birthday which I'm going to die cut from a piece of card. Okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be wasteful. I'm just going to put it in the middle. Yes. If I was doing this at home, as I said earlier, I would squeeze it in so I could get two out of a piece of card. Yeah. <laughs> when like, was the first like time you... Do, you know? Julie, when was the first time you used a die-cutting machine? Oh, gosh. And what did you think to it when you, when you first oh, had the like opportunity? Oh, it was like magic. Was it? Oh, yeah. It was like... like I got in was heavily into punches. Yes. I wrote a book about making punched greeting cards. Yeah. Um, so really loved punches. So die cutting was like the next thing on because yeah. you could do much more fancy things. Yeah. So I, the tip, my tip is that you want to get in the habit of die cutting before you stamp. And the reason I do that is I'm going to put my waist into my platform and then I'm going to put the Happy birthday that I've just die cut back into the waist. Then I can take my stamp and I can line this up over the top. Excuse the top of my head if that's what you're getting. And I can line up all the gaps between the letters. Now, now this... I can pick this up. Yes, sorry. 
and then I can ink my stamp up, making sure it's back in the, the right place in the waste, and stamp that down. And then when I lift this up... Oh, wow, look at that! That's now got that lovely border all the way around. Julie, that looked fabulous when you did that. And it's perfectly aligned. That... Wow! That looked amazing. So if you get into, and the reason that I got into the habit of actually die cutting before I stamp on it is if you want to do heat embossing, you don't want to then die cut it because it flattens everything. That's, that's so why that, that was way, so amazing because I, normally I see it the other way around. Yeah, it's, everyone's got into the habit of you would stamp and then try and yeah. line that up. But if you try to line that up over the stamping, yeah. you can't see where you're placing it. No. So doing it this way round. That's perfect. You're going to get and perfect those, alignment every time. Again, that script is beautiful. I love isn't it. Isn't it? Isn't it? It's just when you stamp it out, it just looks fabulous. So I take that, get that out of the way. So I've got this ready to go onto my card. I need to cut a slither because I want a slither of white card so it stands off the uh, join where we joined everything with our inking. So I can place that over the top and then I'm going to show, going to colour my happy birthday so it's really going to stand out. There we go, so it's neatened everything up, you I can't like see that. it's hidden now. And then I have a brush here. When's your birthday, Julie? Uh, just I'm the same day as Catherine. Oh yes, 27th of July. Absolutely. Oh. So I'm just going to take happy some birthday. ink and my blending brush and just add some colour and I'm going to add some different colours the colours that I've used for the card so everything's going to tie in but it's lovely to get those different tones of the blues and greens showing and if you I've got a card in the pile Janice yes um, in the second pile in it should be that was the happy birthdays and it's in oranges, so I did a female version. I think it's in this pile. Come a bit this closer. One. Yeah, under there, I think. There's an orange version, exactly the same card with the circles. I, I feel a bit naughty because I've mixed the piles oh, up a little bit worry. because I was looking through all these delightful, beautiful samples. <laughs> if you I'm, keep going, you'll get to it. I'm and, sure. and I'm like looking at them all, and now I've actually mixed it up. So <laughs> you know that moment when your teacher asks you something, can you nervously go? <laughs> yes. <laughs> just had. Um, but don't worry, I did an orange version as well. Don't worry. Oh, the orange version matter. of the one you've got there. Yeah, exactly keep, the same I'll, as this one. I'll keep looking. an orange version. I'll keep looking. You so, keep crafting. So I'll I keep like looking. to layer. So I've die cut three, sorry, two white happy birthdays and stuck them together because I like my die cuts to be layered. It looks much more like a chipboard element then. So it's got much more substance to it as well. Now, I found one that says thinking of you in the same design. Oh, that's it. That's Yay. the one. Sorry, there I was you tricking you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not hard to trick me, Julie. It's not. There you go. But I just wanted to show so you can do exactly the same thing, but make it for a female. Yeah. And there's no reason why you couldn't then um, stamp circle, uh, sorry, flowers on your circles. Yeah. Love that. So I have some circles to go on here, which I wanted to show the overlaying of the stamping. I'm going to take that waste out. So I've punched out some circles and again I can place them back in my bit of card and then with my block I'm just going to stamp my circle first of all. So let's pick that up and we'll do a blue one and a green one. So over stamp that. I think we've got about six minutes left on the show. Have we really? Oh yes. my goodness, where does the time go? Um, and that's really a chance for you guys now to check out your basket. This is the last show we're having uh, today, <clears throat> this time around. Not the last show ever, this time <laughs> around uh, with Julie. And nearly two thirds of the stock of the complete bundle is gone. You can buy it on FlexiBuy, which is a great way to buy because it means you can divide the cost into two, but we'll send all the products to you. Freedom members, uh, you are only paying £35.96 today. Uh, you've got a great saving. And if you want to become a Freedom member, to make that saving, then it's triple eight, triple eight in your basket. Five pounds saving if you're not a Freedom member, twelve ninety nine if you are. 
6.97 your monthly fee for your freedom membership so it kind of makes sense to become a freedom member today make that saving and enjoy being a freedom member and i've even got a badge on today freedom member badge so you get yeah there you go um and the reason why i'm wearing my freedom badge today not only do i love freedom but i had a stain on my shirt this morning and i just couldn't be bothered to wash another one <laughs> oh that will do that's what you can do with your freedom badge cover up your stains <laughs> okay so I have stamped on two of my circles I've missed a little bit on this one I've gone a bit skew with so I apologize for that but then I'm just gonna oh actually if I tuck it under there nobody will know will they there we go there's always a way out of something there is always a way <laughs> um, that looks fantastic so look and it looks designer one. and it looks expensive it looks like you've gone into the store and you've picked the most expensive card but you've made it you've created it you could even write on the back of it as well handmade by you uh, because the um, Angel policy is you can make and create and sell as many Absolutely. as you like, which is yeah, great. Definitely. Uh, right, Julie, shall we have a look at some samples? Oh, yes. yes. Uh, I want to show this one. This was at the back of the set, but I brought it forward because I think this one is absolutely incredible, especially if you have a look here at the butterflies. Is that... Is that That's on acetate? On acetate. Wow. Embossed on acetate. Isn't it beautiful? Emma Smith's made it. That's incredible. And all the little flowers in the background are that sunflower, the end of cool sunflower. Oh, really? Oh, yep. yeah. Do take a look at that. It's only um, 4 99 Talking of that. Isn't that just beautiful, isn't I've got it? this one here using the happy birthday, but also using the... Um, sunflower in the background isn't that fabulous it that's really in, really that's is embossed. it's such a pretty color embossing as well isn't Beautiful. it now i've got a oh this next one oh my word whom philippa made this one now this here is this on like some handmade paper or something it, Can i'm not sure on? if it's not paper clay Oh, it like might really fine yes. paper clay. It's yeah. beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And I love it being on the corrugated cardboard yeah. as well. You see that at home, everyone. Isn't that lovely? Then using the stamps in white around the edge. That's fantastic. I love that. I love that. So many different designs that you can use with the stamps in that complete collection. That's why so many of you are going for the complete collection because it's so versatile. Whatever your style is, whatever your choice is, you've got something to start building and creating butterflies are always popular aren't they they really are and thinking of you and happy birthday are two great sentiments and probably the two most sentiments that you will use thinking of you could be anything it Definitely. could be thinking of you I love you it could be thinking of you because it's a sad occasion it could be thinking of you just because you're thinking of somebody Absolutely. and they are yep. a great friend happy birthday well that speaks for itself doesn't it happy birthday is a great sentiment to have and as we've said before just turning slightly makes it look completely different when you have it straight as well so think about that when you're adding happy birthday and also think of that great tip that Julie said cut first and then stamp onto it uh, what have you got there Julie uh, this is something that Emma Smith made, and I just thought it was its just absolutely amazing. She actually stamped and embossed all the beautiful papers that she's made here. So these are all from that create with shapes, the, all the stars. Um, she's also created the banner with the triangle, so she's used that as well. She's put the happy birthday on the top, but she's also used the banner stamp as the actual pull on the draw Good. front. That's fantastic. How amazing is that? Yeah, that really, really is. Oh, my word. Fantastic. Um, another couple here to show you. This one is also by Philippa. I'm just randomly picking these up. <laughs> Thank you to everybody that's designed them. Uh, but this is gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, and using that, is that a piece of parchment? It, vellum. Yes, it is. Piece yep. of vellum, yeah. Um, mm, vellum, that's lovely. Thinking of you just there. Then you've got. Julie Hickey Designs, there you go, randomly picked that one up, but isn't that beautiful? And a really good use of the colours there with the orange and the green. And again, because I give you the extra flowers, you can do that, the 3D element here, yeah. because you know that they're exactly the right size. It's fantastic. And you've got another couple there to show. Julie this, would like to show these. I was inspired by a card that Hazel created, just using the garden medley and the thinking of you. So I thought, 
you could do this as a gift for somebody. Oh, wow. So make a collection of the cards. I've used Thinking of You and the Happy Birthday. That's lovely. But I've used all the colours of the rainbow. And oh, how lovely would that look in a box? That's so lovely. As a gift lovely. to give somebody. Julie, we've got 20 seconds yet wow. left. I don't know where <laughs> the time goes. It's just, it's not long enough. <laughs> Hey, Chanda, let's enough. have two hours of Julie <laughs> yeah. Hickey, please. Uh, it's been an absolute you. pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so much for bringing this complete collection. Thank, Thank you for you. buying, everyone. Uh, do get what you want and uh, make sure you check out your baskets. Thank you, Julie. Thank you. Right, coming up after the break, I was wondering where Catherine is. She's next door with our Leone. It's the All and Create One Day Special coming up next. Seven days, save the sensations after that, and then another chance to see your One Day Special. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately, but good news freedom membership has remained the same at $19.99 what that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month you could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either so it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda now shipping again to you as in America so take advantage of that make sure you become a freedom member though take advantage of that saving Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Hachanda guest demonstrators or from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi, my name is Blanche Siegmann. I'm the owner of the company La Blanche. The company La Blanche is a crafting company located in Germany. For over 20 years, I'm designing and selling stamps, paper crafting products, and home decoration. As a passionate crafter myself, I make sure all our products are of highest quality and easy to use. We produce a whole range of products. We produce paper products. We have also shrink sleeves for your jars, glasses. We have home decoration products, paints and wall decals. Everything, the whole range of crafting we produce for you. I hope you enjoy watching us at Hochanda and crafting with La Blanche. Hi, I'm Emma. And I'm Pam. And we're from Quilters Trading Post. We've been open since 2007, so we're coming up to 10 years now. We started our business um, in Cambridge, really, with a long arm quilting machine. We decided that we wanted to make a proper business of it, so we bought a shop in this area. We soon grew out of that because we became successful and we bought a school, and now we're in the school. We have four parts to our business. We have the quilting service, we run workshops, we sell patchwork and quilting threads, fabrics and notions, and we do patterns and books. That's our newest thing, and our favourite being our crafters carry-on. 
we've really enjoyed being on Hachanda. It's um, made us famous, really. We've got lots of people who now come into the shop and tell us that they've seen us, and that they've enjoyed the demonstrations, and they've watched us over and over again. Make sure you don't miss our shows here on Hachanda. Good evening to you. Now, do stay with us for the next hour. This is the second live hour for the one day special. It's all in creative course. Busy, busy launch as we always expect. And we've got a wonderful guest with us. I wonder who that may be. She's over the other side of the studio. Hello, Hello. Leonie. Hello. How are you? Hello. <laughs> we can see you. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> there she feet. is, there she is, working away, <laughs> beavering away. Well, let's have a look what we've got in store for you. Let's have a look at the one day special, but don't just buy just yet. I know it's, I know it's funny that we say that, but don't, don't buy just yet. Do trust me, do trust me. Just wait a little minute. Let's have a look at this. So for the one day special, it's all in Create. You've got three stamp sets here. You've got Best Wishes, Made With Love and Iris. Now there are 22 individual stamps here. Now you have got a great set saving of £5 and it is an amazing price at £43.97 and of course they are brand new today. Created and designed of course by the wonderful Tracy Evans. Uh, well they are all in Create stamps and Tracy's just one of the wonderful designers isn't she? Let's have a look at the stamps themselves because when it comes to all in Create quite often the stamps that you're receiving are larger than the images on the front of the packaging. Here's two of them. I showed the other one in a second. Really lovely, aren't they? I mean, the, you could do anything with these and with any colours as well. Now, we have got the third stamp, as I say. The third one is the iris, and I will show you some samples as well. Let me just bring the iris in onto the board so you can really see the detail there. There we are. I've got that the right way around, I think. The word nature's in there as well. As always, always with all in crate stamps and tracy stamps, you've got all those little extra stamps around there as well, which were perfect for your backgrounds and adding that detail. What a wonderful collection. Let me just show you one or two samples. And as I'm doing this, I'm just going to remind you to hang on just for a minute. Look at the iris. Isn't that beautiful? 562252 if you are going for the one day special. But we have got something else to tell you about, of course. Now, we have got a complete collection for you. Now, the reason I've told you to hang on, we will have a look at the stamps for the complete collection as well. Of course, all that that we've just seen, we've seen that there, but we have got extra items for you as well. The reason I said hang on is because if you're a Freedom member, you are saving £14.80, but it actually works out less than the one day special. So you're getting those extra stamps but you're paying less than the one day special. So if you're not a Freedom member, it is worth joining the club right now. £6.97 for the month. Look at the saving you get in there and you're getting those extra stamps as well. So if I was you, I would be going for that complete collection. 573075. Let's have a really good look at those extra stamps. Very useful stamps indeed. I'm going to pick the actual stamps up again. So you can see them. Great for your backgrounds again. Just using little areas of these on the edges of your cards or your projects would work really, really well. You know, whether you're making gift tags, whether you're working onto grey board, chip board, MDF, it really doesn't matter. These are certainly going to be very, very usable stamps indeed. Let's have a look at one or two more samples while we're here as well, because, of course, if you're looking at the full collection, we have seen the iris. Isn't that clever? Onto the wood there really do like that i think that is actually i think it has been stamped and burnt into there love that pyrography yeah have you got one of those dremel tools you can do that with a dremel you know let's have a look at this one this is by joe rice you can see the knife the fork and the spoon there made with love how wonderful is that? And then, of course, if you want to go with your bright colours, you certainly can. If you want to go with your more muted colours, you certainly can. If you want to go very grungy, that's also perfect as well. Do you know, you can go with any colours that you want here. Oh, this is a nice card. This is another one by Joe, actually. What has she used there? Oh, it looks like... Do you know, I'm just going to turn that to the side. Can you see the depth of that? That 
is really nice. I don't know if it's some sort of chipboard and it's got a speciality card on the top or whether that was already a board with a layer on it, but it looks amazing. Now, we are getting busy again. Over a third of the stock has gone. Two payments of £21.59, item number 573075. What a lovely, lovely selection of stamps for you there. Now, we do have some happy hour stamps for you. Uh, right, now, I've got to tell you, when it comes to happy hour stamps, these are superb when it comes to the price. Look at this. Just for this hour only, £9.99 is going to get you what you're seeing here. Now, an £8 saving, 819194 is the item number. As always, I will show you the stamps as well, simply because they are bigger than what you're seeing on the front of the package in there. Really useful stamps yet again. You've got the script in there, you've got the font in there, you've got the uh, various different florals in there as well. Really usable stamps. Don't miss out on those. If you pop those into your basket with the one day special, you can split the cost as well. 819194, that's the item number for that one. If you are going for the one day special and you're going for the flexi buy, it's just five pounds today. We have got another one for you though. Let's have a look at this one. I do like this one. Now, we have got another happy hour deal for you. It's the same price, £9.99, another £8 saving on this one. This is your beauty of nature. I find anything that's got leaves and foliage on very useful indeed. There you can see what you're getting there. I remember Tracy working with this one, actually. I particularly like the ivy. Let me just flip that so the wording makes a bit more sense for you. There you are. Really lovely. Very nice indeed. I can see those foliage has been used around um, the edge of a card as well, building up a frame and in the background. But you use them however you wish. 016536 is the item number. Do you know there's 11 stamps just on that one set there? Right, where are we going now? We're going to the website, of course. That's where you're going to find everything. We've got lots more to see, but of course we want to give as much time as we can to Leone. But do have a look on the website. We've got some great savings there as well. There may be some stamps that have been out before that you've missed out on and now are available. So make sure you do have a good look at absolutely everything. Wonderful stuff. Always superb quality as well with All and Create. Right, Leonie, are you ready to go? I am ready. Oh, marvellous. Well, I say that. No, I'm completely ready and I've even got an idea of where I'm going with this. I know. Right, so, I mean, an idea. That's as far as it gets. Uh, who knows where it'll end up. So, um, what I want to do, play with obviously stencils. Um, all and create massive with stencils. They have so many beautiful stencils in the in the stash, in the collection. So, what I want to do, first of all, is start... Okay, I'm, I must admit, I mean, I sort of have an idea, but it's very, very loose at the moment, is that idea. So, this one. I'm very moved. Um, so what I'm going to do, start building up a little bit of a background, first of all. Um, oh, I could have gone with a clean sponge, but we'll go with it as sponge, but it's a bit wet, but it's okay. So I'm going to start just sponging this on. Now, um, uh, have a look on the website for this one. We might not have this one on the show, but do check the website out. Because obviously, All and Create have brought out so many stencils, and it's one of those. There's so many to choose from. Obviously, I choose one that's not on the show standard. So I'm just creating a background first of all. Now I'm being nice and random. Um, I'm not really planning this. This is one that is absolutely gonna. Um, it's it's gonna evolve. We'll see where it goes. I want it really bright. So I'm just going in with the, the brush. This actually was the brush that came with the glues that we had on in my um, my Let Leone Loose show. So just popping a little bit of the paint on there. I really like that really bright, beautiful fuchsia. I think that's gorgeous. The paints are actually the paints that our Catherine had on in her show. These are the Viva Decor paints. So gorgeous background straight away. Beautiful, bright, fabulous. Have we got the circles? Or have, have I literally just picked up loads of stencils that aren't on the show? That's amazing. We have got that one. Yeah, we got that one. Hooray! So we have got this one. Um, you will be able to, to check that one out. There are loads of stencils. This is a problem, isn't it? You know, there's so many stencils, so it's which ones you go for. So just changing now. What I am going to do, I'm going to allow the, the designs to blend in. So one is going to overlap the other one. So just allowing 
those ones to start blending um the stencils again beautiful designs there is so many to choose from but if you want this one then um, it does come with um three other stencils and they're beautiful absolutely beautiful really cool designs i think that's what all and create do though isn't it they bring us so many cool cool products this one comes with one of my favorite ever stencils that i didn't pull out my box actually um but yeah you've got loads in that bundle if you do want that one, only $18.99 and you're going to get all four stencils. Now, I'm actually working on, um, I love that, see, all blocks of colour. I'm working on super smooth card. Super smooth card means I won't be able to, it doesn't blend as much as your normal card, but please play on different card. Please play on different types of card stock because you get different results and actually it's really good fun. You know, it's lovely just seeing what you're going to get. Now I'm rummaging for my white gesso because I know my other one's running out, but seeing as I can't find that, I'll just try and get out whatever I've got left in this. Now, I've left my pinny somewhere, I think it's in my room, which is silly because earlier on I was shaking my black Posca pen and it went everywhere, bar my top, I think, which is actually, is there, there's my pinny. How did I not see that, Catherine? Just chuck it in. How did I not see that? Oh, sometimes I'm a worry to myself. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Bear with me. I am worried to myself. <laughs> I'm my mother. Oh, my mother, my poor mother. Right, okay. So, <laughs> a bit sleepy, I know. I know I'm on live, Tyler. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's okay. I'm amongst friends. So, and, you know, if, if anyone's there judging me, then... <laughs> I'm still on live, Della. <laughs> so, whew. okay, going over the top again. So, <laughs> um, going over the top with white gesso. Well, I am going to lift some of this up. I am going to bring in, and I do apologise that we haven't got this one. I am going to bring this one in. I'm going to bring my cloth, which I'm just going to dip in my water because I want this really nice and um, soggy. And this will help me lift that off again. I know that this is one of those techniques that everybody's doing of late because it's a cool technique. And it just allows you to start building up that background, building up that layer. So you're looking in. See, I love it because you're looking into that now, but the white gesso knocks it back. And that really helps when you're layering. That really helps. You'll notice I haven't done the full piece of card. Um, I like that. You know, it, it's me, and it? I don't... Because I'm not quite sure where it's going, it means that if I just do part of the card, or if I... if I, Well, it just allows me to stop wherever I want to, so just, just allowing it to evolve. So, again, just lifting a little bit of that out, which I love. I love that. I just think it's one of those techniques that just carries on giving. It's fabulous. I'm then going to change colour. I'm going to bring in um, some other blue. I adore this blue. This is a Pentart um, mint green. Love, love, love this colour. And same again. I'm just going to splodge some of that down. It's really gorgeous and thick, is that? And I'm actually going to bring the triangles in this time. And this one... Are these on the show? Are they? Oh, I thought they'd be on show as well because these are quite recent as well, the triangles. Okay, so just, again, lifting some of this off. Now, I know a lot of people do this technique with um, baby wipes. Obviously, you know me, there's a lot of the baby wipes out there that I really don't agree with because they've got a plastic base. But I do know you can get hold of um, some nice baby wipes now. So if you're going for them, then have a look, a look, have a look, a look for those. See? Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. I'm going to take some of that off. What did you say then, Arcata? Oh, the triangles are in the show. So you are getting the big and the small one if you're going for the triangles. Yeah, I love this stencil. The, the detail, when you put... Um, when you put texture paste through this, it's phenomenal. The detail is absolutely incredible. You just can't believe that it gives you that. But it's because it's a really nice thick stencil. So it gives you a phenomenal finish. 
Okay, so just lifting some of that paint out. Really like that. Beautiful, isn't it? Then obviously the colours. It's all about those really nice, bright, beautiful colours. So let me see. So I'm sort of building it up. So I'm looking at it being that, that sort of way. Now that is quite strong. So I'll just do another little blotch about here like this and bring this here and then lift that out again let me find my wet bit of the cloth and i'm finding my wet bit to help me lift it there we go there <laughs> Like so. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Just lifting some of that paint off the background there. Okay, I like that. So that's where I am so far. I love, love, love that blue. I just think with the pink, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, blast that dry. And it's funny, I can already see sort of where I'm putting my design. So, just give that a blast. I love the texture on there that I've just put my finger in and ruined. I think that looks really quite cool. Right, okay, happy with that so far. So next, let's bring the stamps in. Now, because I kind of know that um, this is kind of where I'm centering it, um, I know that that's where I'm going to centre my design. What I'm going to go for is that beautiful blossom stamp, because I absolutely adore that. I just think that looks so, so beautiful. Um, so if I bring this one here, now I have already cut one out, but you see, on the top of there which i actually quite like because i quite like the difference in the colors you know the the red with that i i love the way they clash i might use that i might not now i'm going to pop this on and and see what i think then that's a that's a lovely thing isn't it you know it's absolutely up to you what you want to bring in so popping that over here what i love about this when you start introducing your stamps you change the background. So the stuff you've already created, you mix it up completely because you bring it in the stamp. So it, it changes the look of what you've already created. Well, that's wet and I'm hoping my paint isn't wet. I'm going to put clear embossing powder over the top. To be fair, if my paint is still wet, it doesn't matter. Clear embossing powder gives you a really nice glossy finish. So even if that sticks onto some of the paint, it's okay. I do want to over stamp though, so really I don't want it to, you know, um, I don't want it to stick on everything. Thing is, because I want to over stamp onto this still, I know I have my, my clear embossing powders on there, then over stamping could be a little bit tricky. So just melting that down and you can see how that black pops because of the clear embossing powder that can you see that how it just sparkles as it melts nice in it and you can see all the lines of the stamp you can see the beautiful blossom there as well gorgeous okay so now in this space it's interesting because you might want to change in that space you might want it to be to be different because we've I've put the clear embossing powder on there i can work over the top of that i was just leaving it for a moment because i wanted it to um to dry a little or to to cool a little bit before i put my next layer so i'm going to bring my white gesso in which i really have to be careful with now especially especially shaking it because i'm asking for trouble do you know what a lot of my paint brushes have gone crusty at the end oh no it's a terrible thing it really is i oh crusty ended paint brushes it's a sad day when your favorite brush has just gone crispier than you can ever get back sad day so cheeky bit of white gesso now i did this in the last hour just to knock that image back this time because i've white gessoed it um i still want that image to pop a bit but because i've got the um the the embossing powder on there hopefully when you go over with your wet cloth you'll still get that image to pop there we go so you can see it comes back through again so you're blocked out the back a bit 
there perfect so you've blocked out the back so you've knocked that back but because it's got your your embossing powder on you can lift the white gesso off there it's not as crisp the blind isn't as black but that's okay i quite like it again i think that looks quite cool right i want to build up around this so what i've done is created a mask so i'm gonna pop that mask on like so and this will allow me to start working over the top of this image now i'm gonna i'm not gonna faff with this too much because this is going to be cut down somehow so i and i, I, I kind of know where i'm aiming i keep saying that don't i <laughs> i feel like i might be convincing myself in order to convince you right so these background stamps, I love these. I, I think these are very cool indeed. I'm tempted not to use them on the block. I always feel, and this is a little bit weird, but I always feel a little bit more in control when I don't use a block sometimes. You know, when I'm doing backgrounds, because sometimes if you use a block, I feel it's, it's just too precise. Whereas if I don't use a block, I quite like it because then you've got those like scratchy bits. So if you're going for something that's collagey, if you're going for something that's, that is more arty, I think this is my preferred um, way to use those stamps. So that's what I'm doing. I'm aiming for an all and create collage look, you know, and we're used to that, aren't we? We're used to seeing that all and create collage look. We've got a stamp that hasn't got it, so I can create it. So I'm going in with that one, first of all, and then the other background stamp. I love these background stamps. I think they're amazing. Really, really cool. And they really allow you, look, to build up your own collage piece. And I think um, that's uh, the beauty of having these. You know, sometimes we'll get the collage stamps and it's done for us. But this, this allows us to build up that beautiful look. With the rest of the stamps, so you're getting those two background stamps. Effectively, if you are going for, for this set, but you're part of a Chand of Freedom, um, I mean, the fact that, that that is a lesser price than the one day special is amazing. I mean, definitely, definitely be part of a Chand of Freedom. I love this. So in the stamp set, that one is, where did I just pick that up? That one is with the iris. I really like that. You've got some lovely words as well. <clears throat> so you've got nature. So if I just take the nature. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know what I've been eating this time. So put the nature there. See, so I'm building up now. I am building up my own collage. So popping that there, I love the postage stamp. I'm working across all the stamp sets now. I think basically I have apps, I've used it one from every set. That's the lovely thing, isn't it? You're getting all of these, you don't need to choose. I have literally used one from every set here. So that's why it's rather nice having the whole collection. So collage it, I'm gonna, I wanna see that. So I know I'm gonna chop some of this off. But I want to see that post-it mark, so let's have it coming down. You don't have to have it, you know, running the way it is. Rochester. Now, that's um, when I, I did uni for a very, very short time, but it was in Rochester. That's cool. Well, and it ran art one as well. It was well good. Well good. Um, okay, so we've also got, what else shall we have on here? We might have a little bit of, I like these, this figure one, figure two, figure three. I think that's a bit cool as well. So popping that down. I mean, really, I've probably got enough on there, to be fair. OK, so I'm really happy with that. And I love it because because when you cut it down, it completely changes it again. And that will make it look really cool again. So this is a good bit in it, lifting that bit. Oh, boom. So that, I really like that because it's got the white Jess one. It looks kind of um, smoky almost. Do you know what I mean? It looks really, really quite um, subtle but a little bit cool. Right, let's cut this down and you'll see what I mean about how it changes it. Now, I've got my blossom that way, but I've stamped everything that way. So it's do I... Oh, gosh, that messes with me head a little bit. So I'm just going to cut it as it is and live with the blossom, being on a bit of a wonk. Oh, I might do it so everything's on a wonk. 
<laughs> it's funny. It, like I've created all that messy background, all that stuff going on, and yet I don't like the blossom being on a bit of a ta on a tangent. You know, it's like, what are you talking about? Look at it. You've got you've got it all, but it's a thing. I like it. I like it being right. Okay, let's see. I'm going to take off a teeny bit more on that side, and then I think I'm happy. So. Look, look how much that's changed it. It's become a proper piece. As soon as, I haven't finished, but as soon as you put it on black, pop. Uh, it just it just pops out, doesn't it? As soon as you put it on black. Right, now, let's do a bit more colouring in. So we've got all that gorgeous design, but let's bring a tiny bit more colour in there. So just round the edge, I'll bring in a little bit of blue around here now let me see oh he doesn't oh yeah it does want to go i thought it were it were not wanting to go on my gesso then you do have to be a tiny bit careful now because it's going on to gesso hopefully i'll be able to move it with my water brush hopefully and th oh yes look at that and that's a lovely thing about working on gesso on gesso it just allows it look at that movement and that's just with one of your pens. And, oh, man, that's well nice. So it just allows that to move beautifully. So that emphasises that circle, which I really want. I want the emphasis in the centre there. Um, I really want a little bit of yellow. I do love my yellow. So bring in a little bit of yellow as well. And I'll bring in some green, of course for the stalk, so bringing in the, a little bit of yellow. Um, if you do want to go for these, it's the big bundle you need. The big bundle is definitely, it's just so worth its money. Those background stamps are amazing. Oh my gosh. Um, hey, we only launched this this evening. 40% of that big bundle has gone, 40%. Um, we've got a full day tomorrow. Obviously, we've got our one day special, so I will have stuff to play with. But are the little stamps available individually? They are, but obviously, if you're going for them in the bundle, it's less than if you're getting the one day special. So it just makes sense. Look at the green in there. That looks really pretty. I'm not aiming obviously i'm coloring the the stems in but as you can see i'm then bleeding that color out so it, it's not i'm not actually coloring in as such it's giving it more of the the shade and the the texture it's just adding different colors into that center which i really like okay i like that i think that looks pretty and then what i will do is basically to finish this off because i quite like that as is i love i love creating um that wonderful little background as well with the stamps i just think when you look at all and create because you get so many beautiful uh, collage stamps be inspired from the collage stamps that um, that we see all the time and create your own collage bring in the ink pad around the edges always always finishes it off but then to actually finish this off what i have already done is cut my little flowers out so bringing these in and uh, this is your finishing touch because if you want to make that image really pop you bring these in then these when you've decoupaged them there we go so cut these out and just bring these in don't glue them down proper so you've got a little bit of movement there because that'll make them look even prettier like so and you don't need to. They've got quite thick lines around the flowers. So it means when you're cutting them out, you don't need to be really specific. You can actually um, just sort of cut, cut the sort of basic out because you're going on top of the original anyway. So you're going to see that underneath. But it is quite a thick line. So you like that because that just helps that image pop like so mm, like that and then what i will do is just in the center of my little blossom i'm just going to put my little white dots so that's the centers of the little flowers and i like the white i think that looks really cool and because i like the white 
all I'm going to do is just drag some of the white down like so because I like that texture like that spin it round and do the same again here so taking it and just dragging it down this is um i mean there's loads of products like this on the market this one is actually enamel enamel accents um from ink essentials but there's loads of things like this basically what you're after is um um what are they called like a texture what are they called um i sorry i'm looking at our catherine you know like um like uh, like liquid pearls, that yeah. kind of thing. So that kind of thing, if you know what I mean. That's what you're after because it just it pops the image, the the actual paint pops, but you can get really nice um, detail on there as well. And with something like that, it just I'm happy with that. I'll walk away because I'm actually happy with. It. Oh, one more thing. Can I do one more thing? <laughs> Shall we go with the splats? Yay! And it has to be yellow because I love yellow. <laughs> so just mixing a little bit of water. It's become a thing now, hasn't it? If you're doing all and create, it's become a thing that you need to add the splats because that's an all and create thing. Let's move my gorgeous black card that I'll end up splatting all over. So just mixing the yellow with a little bit of water to get it splashy. And then, yeah, that's what we needed. I can feel it all over my arm. Oh, I love them splats. They're the splats I like. So when you get that really big splash going through, and I love it because it's so random. And then just move it round and do another one over here. This is when you go home. And when you look at mirror at home, it's like, I missed, I missed my card, I just got my face there. So you've got, doesn't that look well cool? The splats, doesn't splat. A splat always makes it, doesn't it? How fabulous is that? Uh, shall I hold it up? Oh, no, you can see it lovely there. Look at that. So you've got that nearly every stamp, or at least every stamp set that you are getting in that big bundle I have used on there. Every stamp set. Plus, of course, check the website out because we've got all and create stencils as well, uh, which are lovely. We've got some uh, wonderful images. Now, who are these from? Belinda. Belinda. That is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Using a beautiful iris there um, and using loads of gorgeous stencils and things in the background. That's gorgeous, Belinda. Oh, I love this as well. And that is using the um, the brand new stamp set and mixing it up with the snails. Mixing it up with the stencil, that's one of the stencils that I had on here as well. Uh, we've got one from Jo. Oh, Jo, that's gorgeous. Oh, your colouring in there is phenomenal. And it looks like Jaws used the same stencil that I've just used. That is lovely, Jaw. Really pretty. I love the way you've decoupaged that as well. Oh, Claire, that's lovely. Look at the welly bobs. That is so nice. I love the way you've um, designed all that. That is beautiful. Thank you, Claire. Oh, Claire, are we going to use one of my uh, leaves as well? Oh, that's pretty. Who's that from? We think that's from Claire as well. That is beautiful. That is using the brand new iris. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, we think that is the last one. Keep those coming in. Gang, thank you ever so much. I love seeing your work. Keep them coming in. Studio at achanda.com. We love seeing what you've created. Right, I will get tidied. Over to Catherine. Oh, thank you, Leone. I've got to say, I love, love, love what you've just created there as well. And those amazing images from the customers as well. Beautiful. Let's have a look at this huge bundle we've got for you because this is where the value is. Well, let's not get this wrong. If you are spending your money and you are getting everything that you're seeing here, including those background stamps, for less than what you would pay just for the one day special, you'd be a fool not to take that offer. So £14.80 is a saving. If you're not a Freedom member, do join now for six pounds and 97 pence that's all you'll pay for one month if you want to leave at the end of that month you can do you don't have to carry on just let us know if you don't want to carry that over you're still going to save money it's just incredible i can't remember the last time i saw a deal like this where you would spend less by getting extra 
The No One Day Special, just amazing. Now, if you are a Freedom member, you're going to get unlimited standard delivery, exclusive members discounts, you're going to get a members badge, and, of course, a monthly newsletter, all for that £6.97. 888 is the item number that you need. And as I say, you can opt out of that if you want to, but I think once you've joined and you see the benefits, then it's well worth it. Let's have a look at this full collection once again, because, of course, you are getting the stamps that are in as part of the One Day Special. Now, I want to show you the three that you would get in the one-day special first. Whoops, there it goes. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you the two uh, larger ones to start with, and then I'll bring in the iris. These are just amazing. I will show you the samples again. I've got a little bit of glare there, see if we can get rid of that. You've got the knife, the fork, the spoon. You've got the postage mark as well, which is really, really useful. Of course, you've got the blossoms that Leonie's just used, amongst other things. The iris is absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. What a stunning, stunning flower that is. And you've got all those extra little stamps around it as well, which is so, so useful. When it comes to the uh, the full collection, of course, you are going to get those extra stamps. You're going to get those background stamps, which are really, really useful as well. There they are, the actual stamps themselves, so you can see exactly what you're getting. £43.17 pence if you're a Freedom member. Let me just show you one or two more samples while I'm doing the rest of the details as well. I love this from Jo Rice. Isn't that gorgeous, using the iris? The item number you need is 573075 if you are going for the collection. Another one there with that beautiful iris. That's another one of Jo's, actually. Do you know, every single one of the samples is different. This one's by Janet. I adore the colours in that. That's a little bit softer in colour and it just works so beautifully. And then you've got the knife, the fork and the spoon as well, made with love, of course. Now, uh, I'm just going to show you everything I've got here, actually, because it seems a shame to miss anything out. These are lovely, absolutely gorgeous. Whether you're inking, whether you're using your sprays, whether you're bringing your stencils in, you know, it doesn't matter. There's all sorts of techniques that you're going to be able to use. This is a lovely one as well. This is another one by Janet. Look at that. Love the colours in that one as well, the pink and the green together. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. 573075 for the full collection. Now, don't forget, we do have a couple of happy hour deals for you as well in this hour. Remember that the price will go up at the top of the hour. So, let's show you both of those because we do have to, as I say, I will show you the actual stamps again so you can see the size of them. The first one that we've got is our birthday blooms. Now then, I've just spotted something in here. Can you see the splat in the corner? If you're not confident at splatting with the paintbrush or you don't want to get it all over your face like we do here, then just stamp with those. Amazing. I love splats. I don't think they are just for all and crate either. You can splatter away on anything. I love it. Nine ninety nine is the item. Is the price on this one? Eight pound is a saving for this hour only. Remember, you've got a really nice selection of stamps. Then that one set eight one nine one nine four, and then the next one very useful again. Now this is another happy hour deal for you. Let's just bring this one in so you can see it. I adore the ivy. Uh, anything that's got foliage in it is just a winner for me. And you've got the wording in there as well. 9 99 is the price on this one. £8 saving again. Item number 016536. There you go. Now, hopefully, Leonie's ready for another demonstration. Are you ready, Leonie? Yeah. Oh, yes, let's go with it then. I'm going to do something really simple but hopefully effective. So, today on uh, Let Loose, we had the Chow Bella um, stamp um, papers. Now, something obviously the, that we can do with our stamps is work with decorative papers, and I like that. It's not something I do a lot on all our, all and create because, you know, we're creating lots of backgrounds and stuff like that. But if we strip it back, look at your beautiful papers. Look how everything will blend. So, I've got these papers. I must admit, looking at these, it's like, oh, my gosh, you know, they're all so lovely. Which one do I want to start with? The iris. So... One of the things you've got with the stamps, obviously, when you get the stamps, you will get 
your um the you know the um, acetate your acetate will allow you to look at the stamp to see how it's going to look on your paper so of course it's going to sit on that beautifully if you move it here it's going to sit on that beautifully so you can really really see how everything will blend together i mean it might be that you want to bring in your little flowers which will look really cute or even that one see that one would look so cute amongst this so they really do sort of of, um, they blend beautifully. That one's a good one because you can easily extend it if you start cutting and chopping into it. I am going to go for the iris though because I think that that is just such a good stamp. Now, the thing is with that paper, it's a collage paper. So it works straight away. It works. They're all double sided. So you're going to pretend you haven't got the other side. <laughs> That's the way it is. So if I just cut this down. Now, the lovely thing is with this, I know I can make a really nice, quick and easy card but I know it'll be beautiful and I know Tracy's stamps will work with it. So dig out your papers. The lovely thing is as well working with papers, if there's a paper, I mean, I adore all of these, literally adore all of them, but if there's a paper you're not keen on, sorry, I'm just gonna put these on the floor because I was balancing them on that and that's not a good idea. I mean, the floor is ridiculous, but we're not looking at the floor. Um, so what we've got we've got the beautiful paper so let's start by adding um some more elements to it so i've got my paper let's have a little think are we going to go on with the stencil first of all so let's have a little bit of stenciling so i'm going to use a bit of blue and i'm going to go for tumble glass so it's a really nice um soft blue the reason i'm doing this is because a I've been working on decorative paper, but I still want to make it mine. I still want to change it. So that's why I come in and, and obviously add something to it. So bringing the stencil in, it works because the papers, they've been designed like this. They've been designed with that gorgeous collage look. So have a look. What stash have you got? What papers have you got that you know you'll be able to, to work over the top of? But yeah, it's a great way of changing your papers as well. So bringing that down and already, I mean, it blends, doesn't it? Go around the edges. So that blue, and I do apologise for my mat. My mat really needs a good clean. This is because of today with my um, decoupaging. I've got glue all over at shop. But it, it's one of those, you know, it, it needs a proper scrub now. Okay, so go around like that. Which way shall I have it? That way. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, love, love, love that. We're then going to bring in um, the iris stamp. So theoretically, this should be a quick and easy one. We'll see though, because I always say I'm going to do a quick and easy one, then it takes me about half an hour. So just bringing that in. Oh, now before I do that, let me just give this a blast dry, because I would actually like to emboss this, but I don't want to emboss the whole paper. So obviously we distress. The Distress, it shouldn't hold the embossing powder, theoretically. It is just normal Distress, not Distress Oxide. It shouldn't hold it, but better safe than sorry. <laughs> and then just inking that up. I'm using Versifying Clear, so that should hold my embossing powder. You could get away with stamping in a lighter colour on this if you wanted to, because the background, um, the background colour of the the actual paper has got sort of um, greys and things in there and soft browns, but I quite like it in black because I really, I want that to be my focal image. I want that to stand out. So just get my embossing powder. I'm popping that. So this is your clear embossing powder. It is from Wow. Uh, so do check out the website. Probably shop by brand. And then let's get this embossed. So again, that image will pop through. Okay. Doesn't it look good? And it just, it just sings off that paper, doesn't it? Doesn't that just work? And I just, I love that. I love that, like today, both products that I've shown today, they just complement each other beautifully. You know, I think that's that's it when we're crafting, though, isn't it? You know, we can be investing a lot of money in our products. To know that they'll work together is even better. It makes it even more, um, it makes sense. Now, I don't think, 
Oh, it will fit. There we go. I'm going to go. I won't finish mat and layering it yet because I put I use a blue or a purple. In fact, let me show you. Let me show you how good it'll look with a beautiful blue back there as well. That blue I want, I think. That'll look really nice. Sorry, I'm rummaging. It's really nice sometimes to see the matte and layer colours, isn't it? Let me come here, you. How can Pete getting a piece of card take me longer than making a card? <laughs> look, look. So when you matte and layer, doesn't that just look beautiful? So I know where I'm going. I know where my colours are going. Let's just do a tiny bit more stamping and faffing. Because you don't leave it at that, do we now? That's not finished. We've got loads of stamps to use. So, popping that back. We have got a lot of stamps to use. We've got all our lovely um, background stamps. This is the iris one. I'm using the, the tumble glass, which is the one I've gone round the outside, which is the one that's in the background. And this, again, it's going to be nice and soft. And that's what I want. I want it just to sit into the back of there again. But you can start building up around the edges as well. So you don't need to just concentrate around the main image. You can concentrate on building up a really nice border around the stamp. So your border, you don't have to rely on your border being... Um, being the you know the black ink that I generally use, you can use your your gorgeous inks as well. Now let me have a little look at the the stamp sets. So you've got best wishes, you've got just a note, you've also got on these ones you've got your numbers, but you've also got on this one. See, you've got you've got you've got your create. That's my numbers. There it is. So on this one you can see. I'll show you the top so you can see that one. So you've got your draw, you've got C, so you've got doodle, you've got art, you've got create, you've got paint, you've got inspire. So it's got loads of beautiful words hidden within it. So it's literally like a word search, which obviously means I can pull one of those words out. So I want the art, I want to bring that out. So if I just bring in, and I am going to do it in, my, in the black ink pad, so I'm just going to squidge down where I want that, so just squidge there like that, technical term, and then bring it down there and squidge. So I've got the R and I really like doing that. So from that whole stamp set, you can literally just pull out one of those images. Where that stamp ends, I want to extend it a little bit. So I am going to use black again, but I'm just going to extend that out. So it's not ending, it's actually flowing out a little bit as well. We'll bring down there we'll do exactly the same so allow it to extend both ways adore doing that it's a it's a definite thing of mine and then i might pop have i got enough words or shall i put the nature i do love that nature stamp so we'll pop the nature down there as well i really like that i like that font as well i've always been a, a i love the the kind of you know the sort of typewriter front that looks like it's a bit you know, that it's missed a bit. An old typewriter. Right, OK. I'll just move all my bits and bobs out of the way. Let's get a bit of colour on this. So, I'm obviously... I'm not a colourist. So, irises, I, I always forget what colour they are. But we'll go in with some greens. There. So, let's just go in with a little bit of green here. Like so. And I won't spend too much time colouring it in, but I am going to colour the full image in. It's nice paper to colour in on as well. And that's the other thing, isn't it? You know, when you're using a decorative paper, sometimes you're not quite sure how it will be to colour in, because some are obviously better than others to colour in on. But, yeah, that's quite nice, because obviously they're not really designed for that, are they? But, there we go. So just going over the top and just blending it. Allow it to blend out and you can put a little bit at the bottom if you want to ground it. And then let's have a little go on those irises. See, this is when it's really good. You know, like, obviously, seeing people's work, it's always when I'm colouring in. Either look at a picture of a real iris or um, look at how somebody else has coloured it in. If you're like me, you might know what they actually look like, but I can never remember. So, it's terrible when it comes to flowers. But I think... The middle bit is kind of yellow, I think. And then is it purple or yellowy? You can, um, sorry, blue, I think. I think you can do. 
So that's kind of yellowy. And then I've got a really light blue, first of all. Oh, I love that. And what I do like doing with this one, I like seeing some of the paper as well underneath it. So the pens are gorgeous because they're not, and that's the lovely thing we're working with pens, isn't it? You know, if we were painting with a paint, then you just take out all of the, the paper underneath it. And it's the same when we when I did the um, the other demonstration in the other hour, because in that hour I used um, I used my uh, my magazine paper and in that one I didn't want to completely take out the magazine paper and this is lovely now I'm actually using I'm watering this down because then I'm in more control of popping that color on so it means I can decide where I want it to be a little bit darker so just bringing that in like that taking that off a bit going round the edges where the petals are turned a bit there we go we'll take that a different color and just round the edges like so and then there we go and isn't it pretty you know when you see it oh doesn't that work on that paper i'm really chuffed with that actually i, I just it's one of those as well sometimes i don't know if you get like this at home but you know when you manage to use some of your stash you feel quite um like like you've really achieved something. It's a little bit like that with me. You know, if I manage to, to combine loads of different companies and products together that I've worked with, it's like they work and it's a really nice feeling. But of course they're gonna work together, you know? This is a beautiful thing about these stamps, the way you can use them with all sorts. So just bringing that colour like that and getting a bit more richness. In fact, I'm gonna be brave. There we go, and just go in with the actual pen. These are our Mr. Phil Martin's pens. Mr. Phil Martin was in today, wasn't he? I didn't see him. Oh, he was just here this morning, Mr. Mr. Phil Martin. Um, oh, he was out of it by 11. I oh, fancy that. <laughs> oh, Phil. <laughs> Not before lunch, darling. Okay, oh, that Martin. Obviously, we don't. He, he wasn't out of it. He was out of the building. <laughs> Not it. <laughs> we wouldn't like to cause rumours for Mr. Phil Martin. Well, we would because it'd be funny. <laughs> we wouldn't. He's our mate. There we go. So just going around white gel pens. White gel pens are always this. The nice thing is with this, because um, I don't need this to be really poppy. You know, I don't need the white gel pen to really pop out. I just like a little the little accents. So you just go around, you scribble the little accents. So you know how we often create drop shadows. Rather than creating a drop shadow, going around with your little white gel pen means you're already ha putting highlights in there. So it's not a drop shadow this time, it's actual highlights. But you'll see how that kind of lifts it off there off the back of the paper can you see looks quite cool does that and don't worry about it being perfect i mean it's all very you know it's all kind of loose isn't it the imagery is very loose it's very sketchy i just need to pop that in and then i'm actually done so all that needs now mm, i'm happy with that stop faffing so all that needs now is i'd put it on the black and then on the blue which I think could look really pretty. Do you know what would actually look rather nice? If you bring in another layer, maybe a white. Because sometimes when you bring a white in, it really look, even if it's a little bit of white, look how that pops in with that bit of white. It's interesting, isn't it? Our teeny little bit of card absolutely makes a difference, but I love that. Yeah, I'll get that matter and layered up um, and I will pop on pictures on the Facebook and the Instagram. Might not be tonight, might be tomorrow now because I'm ready for home <laughs> on my bed. Um, now, 
Oh, Leon, uh, that was beautiful again. Honestly, to see that come to life before our eyes, absolutely amazing. Let's give you a final reminder of the full collection. Over 40% of the collection is now gone. You are really getting value for money here, aren't you? You're getting, let me just very quickly show you again without dropping them, hopefully. Uh, let's show you the two larger stamps. Then I'm going to show you the iris that Leonie's just been using there as well. Now, if you were going for the one day special, it's the first three stamps, these two and the iris, that you would be getting thing but obviously, yeah, I think you've picked up on it by now. Do not go for the one-day special. If you're not a Freedom member, join the club for one month. Give it a go. You might decide to stay. You might not. But you will, of course, get that discount, which is huge. And you're going to get these two stamps as well. So these are your background stamps. And I didn't show this earlier. I just want to bring in... Put it that way up, then it makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? There you go. Let me bring this in as well. Just goes to prove that irises don't have to be blue or purple. They can be yellow. But I love how this background stamp has been used there. That's another one of Janet's uh, cards there. Beautiful, isn't it? Two payments of £21.59 if you're going to for the full, the full collection there. That's if you're a Freedom member, 573075. Let's just go through those samples again just so you can really see what you can actually achieve here. So we've got, of course, the knife, the spoon and the fork, which is amazing. Love that. Made with love. Little hearts there. Do you know, the use of that white gel pen on everything just makes such a difference, doesn't it? I adore this. I believe what's happened here is that's been stamped on and then used with, um, whether it's been a, a tool made for the purpose or whether it's been the Dremel, I've no idea, but you can burn into the wood and pick out the detail in there. So uh, watch out for Dremel coming up in a, a few weeks, actually. I think we've got another show coming up. We've got this stamp here as well, of course, that wonderful blossom in the background, those beautiful colours. When it comes to the eye, Iris, do you know whether you're going yellow, whether you're going purple, whether you're stamping onto your pattern pages or you're building up your own backgrounds, it really doesn't matter. Absolutely stunning. Using uh, the background stamp there as well, I can see in that one. Do you know, we're almost out of time. Leone, you can go home. Hooray. And you are allowed out now, but you're back in the morning. Thank Don't be you. late, will you? We need you back at 8 o'clock for the Monday here. special in the morning. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. I can't go just yet. <laughs> got to show you that one. Missed it. Uh, I've got another hour. Please stay with me. Keep me company, because I'm all on my own for the next hour. <laughs> Coming up next, we've got the seven day save the sensations, and then it's another hour with All and Create. You can see uh, the show that you've seen. Pink Frog Crafts, that's coming up after All and Create. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately, but good news freedom membership has remained the same at $19.99 what that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month you could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either so it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda. now shipping again to you as in America so take advantage of that make sure you become a freedom member though take advantage of that saving Hello everyone, we're the Pink Ink Ladies. I'm Cathy. And I'm Mel. We've been with Hochanda right from the start and we've been crafting for 30 years. We're passionate about fabric, so our main thing is to stamp on fabric or stencil on fabric. We can't wait to show you all our new hand illustrated stamp and stencil designs, whether you're using them on cards or soft furnishings. Kathy and I get together at Pink Ink Towers and we can't wait to share our ideas. We choose all our subject matter together and then Kathy goes away and hand illustrates all our fantastic finished designs and we pride ourselves on the quality of our range. On our shows on Herchanda, we're excited to share all our hints, tips and techniques for you to get the most out of our products. Please tune in to the Pink Ink Shows, Get Inspired on Herchanda. Thank you. 
Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaisercraft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chandler is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chandler. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hello, yes, it's the final live hour. You've got me for the next hour. Do keep me company, won't you? We've got some amazing deals for you. Now, you can see we've got some happy hour deals as well. Oh, very exciting. That means, of course, the prices will change at the end of the hour, and you've got some great savings here as well. Let's have a look at the first one. This is incredible. Absolutely amazing value. What are we getting here? We're getting personal impressions, 10 stamp sets. These are polymer stamps. You've got your animal and sentiments. In fact, there are 99 individual stamps here. Now, the saving is £37. You are spending, or will be spending, £13.89. So way, way, way below the original price, of course. If you work that out, there are 10 sets here. That makes it just £1, if we round it up, and 39 pence per stamp set. That is ridiculous, isn't it? That is absolutely ridiculous. Now, we can see the clock, hopefully in a little second as well, because, of course, happy hour deals, they will change at the end of the hour. You can see it behind me. There it is. There are, I'll have to keep doing that all the way through. No, I'm that. Um, right, OK. <laughs> we've got some of the stamps in the front here. Um, but we've got more at the back as well. Let's have a look at this. Oh, I better move that before I get told off. Lots of sentiments here. We've got brother in there. We've got son. We've got husband. You've got all those milestone birthdays there as well. Oh, the little bear look. A little bear to show I care. Oh, how sweet is that? Sending you a big bear hug. They might be the only sort of hugs you can send at the moment. I love the frogs. I absolutely adore the frogs. They're my favourites, actually. Oh, what's that? What's happening? Unforgettable. Oh, I love them. Love them so much. Oh, you've got little paw prints and all sorts in here as well. We've got three more stamp sets at the back. I'm just going to bring those into the front so you can see what these look like as well. We do have some little cards for inspiration, but I think once you get these home, I adore those footprints. The little paw prints, I think they're so, so adorable. 
when you get these home, you're going to have so much fun with these. And mix them around as well. Don't just keep frogs with frogs. Put bears with frogs. It doesn't matter. You can do all sorts of different things. Let's have a look at one or two samples here. Now, these are like little postcards of inspiration rather than actual cards, but it will give you some good ideas of how to use your other materials, such as your border punches and your dies and other stamps you may have as well. Oh, how sweet are these? I need to find a frog. Let me find a frog. Oh, here we are. Have an unforgettable day. There he is, look. Oh, look at that little raindrop just coming off his umbrella there. Oh, these are just adorable, aren't they? Well, don't miss out. This is a happy hour deal. £13.89 and pence for all 10 sets. 99 individual stamps. 176597. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. You can have a lot of fun with those. Those are those storytelling stamps again, aren't they? You know, where you can actually build up a little story, perhaps, for your children. Love it. Do you know what? I would quite happily receive a card made with any of those stamps as well, so it's not just for children. Right, cross two, that's what we've got next for you. Always very nice indeed, front to have see anything from cross two. Now you've got dies and you've got embossing folders here. Very nice. Now these are half price, so essentially getting one of these for nothing. Uh, you've got something like the bird cages and the butterfly dreams. And if we come in and have a look at the dies themselves, you can see actually where those areas that cut out. You can also use your embossing mats as well and bring out the detail further. Very nice. I do love embossing folders. I, sometimes I think we forget about them a little bit and we should, you know, we should dig them out more often. Very useful for your air dry clay as well if you wanted to, you know, use them for taking an impression from. Uh, I know Leonie was using the paste yesterday from, was it a Pentart one she'd got? I can't remember now. Um, the gold and silver paste, it was absolutely fabulous. No, Stamperia, that's what it was. Stamperia. So you can use them as kind of a, a texture plate for moulding as well. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Do you know, if you did that with your texture paste as well, you could just pick out various little details. You don't even have to do the whole thing. I like, do like that with the birdcage and the birds. Beautiful. Item number 349269 is the item number. A £10 saving, as I say. So essentially you are buying one, getting one free there. Very nice. Because of Crafts 2 as well, it's a known brand. You know you're going to get quality. You know they're going to work really, really well. And I'm sure we'll have seen John actually using those in previous shows as well. Now, talking of um, all things like dies and embossing folders and stamps and things, it's nice to be able to store them well, isn't it? Well, we have got some storage for you. These are actually for dies. I suppose you could use them for other things. Now, you're going to get two of these. You have got ten magnetic sheets in, in, in here as well. I'm not sure they're double-sided or not. I wonder if I can tell by looking at it. I don't think they are. I think they're single-sided. But that means, of course, because your pocket is see-through on both sides, if you have got stamps that match your dies, you can pop those in there. Or perhaps another idea is die-cut all the die pieces out and use the other side as a reference. Or maybe just, you know, samples and things that you pop in there or little ideas that you want to note down. You can put anything in there, really. Very nice indeed. You've got a nice carrying handle. Of course, they will zip up. So you can take these on the move with you. They're very portable. The fact that you're getting two of them as well. And, you know, you can get a lot of dies in there because, you know, you get big dies, small dies. But actually, on that size magnetic board, some of your nesting dies, you know, when you put them all together, because you would keep them in a nest, you're going to get numerous dies on one sheet. £24.98 is the price. You're saving £9 on this one. Item number 892272, just for this hour, of course. Do take advantage of those. Now, if you want to go for more than one, well, we've got the stocks you could, so if you wanted to double up on that one, just put two lots in your basket. You'd get four of those magnetic cases. So very good value, well worthwhile getting those while you can. Right, we've got some red liner tape now. Now, there are 12 rolls here. I do like these when we get the different widths in one bundle because it means that you get, um, you do get everything you need for every job, don't you? I'm just sorting these out a little bit because I want to show you that you do get three of each. There's your three millimeter. Now, I don't know if you were watching last night, I had some red liner on yesterday. A little tip for you, you know when you, sometimes you get these or you stack them in your cupboard and they stick together a little bit, Use some wax paper in between or dust them with a little bit of talc or cornflour. 
without unraveling just so that they don't stick together if you are going to sort of stack them on top three millimeter six millimeter you're getting three of those as well you're getting three of the nine millimeter and you're also getting three of the 12 millimeter now there are 60 meters in total there's five meters on each saving 27 pounds well worth picking that up while you can 10 pounds and 20 pence is the item number and the item number is of course three three zero seven three zero they're your essentials aren't they don't miss out when we see prices like that what have we got here then i wonder we have all sorts of wonderful stickers and peel-offs for you we've got a whole peel-off collection assorted designs and colors now there are 50 pieces in total so 50 complete sheets as you can see there's all sorts of colors in this one we've got uh, i think these are actually clear rather than white i think it's the backing that's white but you've got that silver outline there we've got the gold we've got the pink the green you may get some of these you're going to get a lovely assortment let's just go through one or two designs as i say you Yours might be a little bit different, but you are certainly going to get um, all sorts of goodies. Do you know there'll be borders and corners in here? Yes, there we are. Look, there's some borders and corners. You've got words in there as well. Do you know there's probably going to be some sort of florals, something maybe for the girls and the boys. Perhaps you'll get baby in there. Maybe you'll just get some little stickers that make gems. Uh, some nice swirls in this one. So a whole collection there. For £9.99, you are saving £20. That's a third of the price. A third of the price. 50 pieces in total. Item number 235054. There we are. That's what you will get, of course, for your peel-offs. Now, that's our happy hour deals. But we have more for you. What do we have coming up? <laughs> very dramatic isn't it it really is it gets me every time <sighs> oh we've been let down in the gallery Prom i've got promised things for this show that's not yellow there we go i was promised yellow background when we went to the seven day savers there we are there we are oh wonderful stuff there right now we have moved away from the happy hour deals for now because we have got some seven day sensations for you there you go all that way all that way um <laughs> these of course launch on a sunday at eight o'clock in the morning now it is only tuesday to, no it's wednesday today isn't it yes it's been bin day for me today i've got an empty bin thank goodness for that uh I've been sorting out all my rubbish oh all my rubbish you know i didn't think they were coming today because they'd still not been when i left for work oh oh somebody's didn't get emptied yesterday apparently no, that's not good enough. That's not good enough. If your bin doesn't get empty, ring up and complain. Yes, right. You'll do that, Mr. Baker. Uh, right, okay. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at our first seven day sensation. I really like these actually. Now, as I flick through these, you might see some that look like they've been eaten a little bit. It's because we've got a sample that has been used or made using some of these. Now, once again, you will get assorted designs. Do you know, colours will vary, designs will vary, but there's a lot of glittery ones in here, so I know you're definitely going to get lots of glitter. Um, there are some that look like Miracar, but they're not. They're handmade. They feel more like fabric. These are beautiful when it comes to handmade paper some of them are so pretty it is hard to cut into them i think i would use them to cover nice little books notebooks perhaps you could use these as christmas presents if you want to gift just go to the supermarket or one of those high street shops where you can get a whole bunch of those little notebooks for not a lot of money and then create beautiful covers for them i think they make gorgeous gifts maybe for teachers as well for school that is really nice isn't it that is beautiful. Uh, let me just find one of the more sort of mirror card ones that I was talking about, because they're not mirror card at all, but it looks like it. It really is soft and beautiful. Uh, you could die cut these. You could, of course, um, you could, of course, use them for many different things. I like to think of these as wrapping paper as well. So if you've got a small gift box, a nice little bow on there, and a, a nice homemade tag would be beautiful. Here we've got a journal. So you can see the cover has been uh, covered with some different papers there, actually. And then, look, even your little off coats, that's a clever idea. Just put that border on the top of the pocket there, or a tab on a page. 
very clever don't waste anything it's too pretty to waste really nice indeed that's just one idea um little gift boxes as well beautiful so upcycle your boxes do you know if you use your decoupage glue as well i think you could probably stick this down onto many surfaces even something maybe that's quite shaped you might have to sort of tear into it a little bit to shape but i think give it a go and see what you can achieve with that 25 pounds saving on these you are getting 30 sheets and they're all a4 14.99 is the price item number 274 Eight five one. Really like those. Again, nothing to stop you going for more than one bundle if you want to go for those because you do love your handmade paper and all those beautiful glittery designs there. Now we've got much more coming up. We still are with the seven day saver sensations, of course. Now I've got some uh, dies in front of me here, but I've got a lot more to show you. Now this is a pick and mix. Again, the value of this is just incredible. So for any six, and you're probably thinking, well, I, there's only four there. How can I get six out there? I don't want two of those. I don't want one of each and then double up. I've got more to show you. Don't worry about that. Now, I do know we had these on a show previously. I think it was Sunday night, actually. We did sell out of one or two designs, but we've still got plenty to choose from. So you've got the four that you're seeing there. I'm going to bring in the others we've got as well. So here we have our lovely little... Let me, let me go there there we are there we are smiling starfish it's very smiley isn't it do you know i've used these i've actually used these in shows before and what i did oh we've had another sell out on these before i've even got to it let me just take that one out. i'm going to put the smiley starfish there so you can see it there we are the hummingbird has gone but what i was going to say was look at these dies not just as dies of course you can use them as stencils as well but also and you can do the same thing with the starfish and the one i'm going to show you in a second um look at the little the little dolphin there what you can do is die cut your piece out and it does emboss at the same time then stick that onto some colored paper and just trim around with your scissors so you've got the color coming through or of course you can ink through there straight away just bring them to life a little bit more i think you'll find that the flipper the little fins there on the side you can lift those as well and shape them a little bit so we've got the dolphin one of my favorites actually is this next one i think it's so sweet the seahorse isn't that cute that is absolutely gorgeous Oh, these are really good fun. Now you've got your hat and your party balloon there as well. Or your balloon and party hat, whichever way you want to say it. Oh, we shouldn't have moved away from the seaside because we've got some shells to go with all our characters. They're very nice. Do like those a lot. Do you know, there's something for all occasions and all themes. As I go through these, I'm going to keep them kind of together, I think, because we've got an octopus as well. He's nice, isn't he? Look at his smiley face. Oh, you know how... When you see me do the clay and you do, I do my characters things, they always have rosy cheeks. Definitely bring the cheeks out with a little bit of pink on these. This is a really nice one. Oh, it's limited stock. The laughing turtle. The laughing turtle or the, in Yorkshire, the laughing. The laughing turtle. That's what I say, the laughing turtle. You need to be quick if you want the laughing turtle. Um, now then, we've got the cute crab as well. He's one of my favourites as well. I really like him. He's very nice indeed. I don't know if we've got any more seaside ones. I think the others are something a little bit different. So let's move on to this one. That's nice. You've got the bunting selection. Some really nice decorative designs in there, isn't there? Very nice indeed. Again, you could stencil through those. Oh, it wouldn't be a complete collection in your own collection without a butterfly have you got a butterfly yet go for the delicate butterfly it's beautiful cut emboss and stencil that's what it says on there you can do all of those things then we have our little handbag actually it's not that small if i turn that around look it's a really good size that would be nice to emboss through as well and if you wanted to you could cut, cut away the little flowers at the top there so you know if you want it a little bit less decorative i think you could actually go in with a nice metallic needle and uh, thread there with your needle so you can sort of pick out the detail then stitch into it as well that would look effective very pretty oh now the next set we have for you the nesting dies here now these are circles now what i like about these i'm just going to spin this one round so you can see 
There you are. Now, depending on the brand of dies you've got, the circles might be a different size. So you may find, if you went for this one, they will fall in between... Oh, I can't. That's sold out. Sorry. Can't tell you anymore. Sorry. Uh, it's gone. But you can go for the floral motif. That's pretty. Now, that is nice, actually, because what you could do, you could snip away the swirly bits and the leaves at the side and just have the flower. Or you could overlay the flower bits so you've still got the swirls and things, but you're making the, the centre flower more three-dimensional. So do think about different ways you can work with those. You've got your Christmas tree and your bow, and your bow could be used at any time of the year, couldn't it? It doesn't have to be on a Christmas tree. And then finally, the ones we've got left in stock, we have our fairy lights there, which again are not just for Christmas, are they? They could be for any time of the year. I don't know, that when I drive around my village where I live, or when I'm going home and I'm just entering the village, there are so many houses and cottages and buildings with fairy lights. You know, the, the solar ones, they look, it looks so pretty. It really does. Do you know, I've got some as well in my trees now, because I've just felt a bit left out, so I thought, I'm going to get some of those. Now I've got one set, I want some more. I just want to light the whole garden up. Anyway, back to the dies. There you go. £14.93. Any six you're going to get there, saving £20. Do you know, even at that original price, that is a really good buy. But yes, what a great bargain that is. 783619. Remember, this is one of your seven day savers again. So they would be around until Sunday. That's if the stock lasts first. I've got to remind you that we do have sellouts. And in fact, some of those that we're showing now have already gone. Um, not just with the dies, we could have sellouts on anything. So if there's something you want, if you see the price is right for you, don't hesitate. Please do put it in your basket and check it out. Right, what do we have here then? I'm so glad I got to do this show the other night. You know when you see on the screen it says clear adhesive glue discs? You think, oh yeah, they're just like big glue dots, so they're going to be sticky on both sides. No, they're not. Not with these. I was trying to get the back in of thinking they were sticking on both sides, but they're not. What you've got here, I really like these actually. They're discs that measure 25 millimetres. So if you've got your cello bags or little gift pouches or things like that, maybe you were gifting a lottery ticket or, or a store card or something, and you make a little folder for it, they will just stick down to seal. So really nice for sealing. You're getting 2,400 of these. Now, the other thing I think about these as well, because, of, you know, with everything going on at the moment with the pandemic, you know, when we seal envelopes, we don't, we don't like to think about licking the envelopes and somebody else opening at the other end. Seal them down with these discs instead. And I think if you had a little rubber stamp, maybe if you had a small motif or something, you could stamp onto your envelope and then stick the seal over the top so you can see the little image coming through. So I think they're very, very useful for many reasons. £9.98 is the price. You are saving £20 on those. 698-757, that's your item number. And you are genuinely getting 2,400 of those. An awful lot to be going with, isn't it? Now something we've got here are some beautiful A4 card packs for you. Now these are different. You've got two different, completely different designs, but they're both from Angela Paul. We'll have a look through both of them. I do really love both of these. Now with the floral flurries, you get 30 double-sided A4 sheets. Now these are 200 GSM. I adore the colours in these. They're absolutely beautiful. There's nothing wishy-washy about them, is there? You've got kind of that raspberry in there, that raspberry colour, and the blue and the white of the snowflakes there. And because you've got those different designs, they are absolutely stunning. I think if you did want to sort of diffuse the look of this a little bit as well, overlaying with vellum, maybe if you've got your snowflake stamps and you stamp onto your vellum and then overlay over the backgrounds, that would look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to have a little bit of a flick through here. You can see some designs are repeated a little bit more than others because of the amount of designs you're getting and the amount of pages try not to let that spine break so it falls apart there we are i'll show you the baubles as well so they're the right way up very nice indeed uh, just beautiful i adore the colors in it there's a little bit of green as well the snowflakes the swirls the flourishes they're absolutely stunning 
Do you know, and I don't think these are just for Christmas either. There might be some with snowflakes on, there might be some with bauble strings on, but you know, there are some as well that you could use all year round. Beautiful, I like that one a lot. Now, the other one is also beautiful. Very different, this is Enchanted Mist. Now you get 24 sheets in this one and these are 300 GSM. Now I am going to open these up. Again, you're getting repeats of some of them. They're double-sided double again. Now you're getting eight different designs. You could use these portrait or landscape. You're gonna get three of each color or design. Let me just, I'm gonna flick through so I'm not sure any of the same ones. You see, that one isn't quite, I don't know if we can pick that up. There is. There is a difference in colour, but it is very, very subtle. So they do differ. Oh, I do like that. You know, from the yellow through to the pink into the purple. Reminds me of ice cream colours, this, doesn't it? Oh, those sweets. That, oh, that's nice. Those sweets, those ones, you know, the fruit ones. The fruit salads. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking of all those old-fashioned sweets again now. So these are absolutely beautiful. You can make card blanks with these, you can die cut them, you can make your boxes with these. You can stamp onto the top, you could emboss onto them, you could add your sprays. You can do all sorts with these. They're a lovely finish to work with. You've got that matte finish, so they are going to take those different mediums as well. £17.98 is the price. £9 is the saving here. 092124 is the item number. So, of course, from Angela Poole, one of our guests here at Chanda, if you've not seen these before, great time to get them. You can go for more than one once again if you do so wish, because you're not going to regret it. You're going to love those. I am absolutely sure of that. Now we have some craft paper. Now we've had a few stampers in today, haven't we? We've had uh, Daisy Bee in. We've had Julie Hickey in. Um, All in Crate, of course, the one day special. And quite often when we're thinking of ideas for stamping, and it works so well, we talk about making wrapping paper. Now this is perfect for it because you've got A4 sheets, 80 GSM, this is craft paper as well. So you imagine using any of the stamps that I've just mentioned and many more besides as well, just stamping directly onto the paper or embossing. The white embossing powder onto craft I think always looks amazing. You could create your own wrapping paper. You could, of course, also die cut this. You can mat and layer with it as well. Um, I'm very sorry if you saw me the other night. I'm just going to do the same boring demonstration that I did. Because I've got no tools here, so I'm a bit limited. But I thought, do you know, I would cut this in half normally, but I can't because I've got no scissors or, or anything. I'm not making a fan. I'm not making a fan. I'm not hot. I'm always cold. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's not a swan either. You'll never guess what it is in the gallery. If you didn't deal with the show with me on Sunday in the gallery, you will never guess what I'm making here. Not in a million years. It's not a paper rose, no. <laughs> How did you know it's a poodle? <laughs> no, it's not. It is actually... You st you'll still think it's a fan, but it's not. No, it's the, a quarter <laughs> of a rosette. <laughs> it's a quarter of a rosette. You could make hanging decorations. You said rose, not rosette. They're very different, very different indeed. No, but you can, you know, when you go to parties and things and you've got the lovely rosettes hanging down, you could stamp on those, decorate them, stick them together, make half rosettes if you want, or you could just have it as a fan, if it could just get a bit warm. It's just another idea. There we are, £9.99, £12 pound is the saving, 780055. Oh, got a real treat coming up for you next. This is one of my, my favourites, actually. I think this is a really, really good bundle. Do you, know, you should get this in the gallery there. If you need, if you need some, this for somebody... It, does Mrs B sew, then? Is she just starting to sew? Oh, 
Oh, she made the bunting for Bob's room. Oh, well, this is a really good buy, actually. Now, it does say on the screen, beginner's quilting bundle, but I don't think this is just for beginners, not at all. But if you are someone that's maybe been paper crafting and thinking, well, I keep seeing these sewing shows, and, with, you know, I could have been in, in that prize draw for that big prize, and I want to have a go, well, this is a great bundle to go for because you even get your fat quarters in here, those beautiful fabrics there. Let me just open this out a little bit just so you can see. I'm not going to undo the bow and take them all out but the colours are just gorgeous. That mint green with the peach or the coral and a little bit of grey in there as well. I think they're so pretty. Now you're getting all sorts in here. You've got your fat quarters. You have got your pins in there, which of course are very useful. You've got safety pins in there, which I think are one of the most useful things that you will ever need. There are loads of times I've needed something like a safety pin and then I haven't got one, so treasure those. You'll be surprised how often you'll want to use those. Now, there's some little scissors in here as well. Your needlework scissors. These are great for cutting off those little ends or your embroidery threads, very handy. Nice little sharp scissors. Don't use them on your paper, though. Keep them for your sewing. Then you've got your sewing machine needles. So if you do have a sewing machine, then of course they're going to come in very useful. If you don't have a sewing machine, there's nothing to stop your hand sewing. Um, now you've got a cutting mat here as well. This is a self-healing cutting mat. And of course, because it's meant for quilters, you've got all those different grid lines on there. You've got your angles. You've got your guidelines for cutting all those bits of fabric. We've got more in the way of cutting tools for you as well because there's a rotary blade in there as well which obviously you'll see many of our guests using something that's very important is a quilter's rule and it is a rule not a ruler yes a ruler rules the country and a rule measures that is true I'm making it up so a lovely, lovely bundle there. You are saving £12, £34 and £14. There's everything that you're getting. I really do like this. Uh, if you know somebody that's wanting to get into sewing, perhaps this would be a great gift for somebody as well. Or even buy that kit and break it down and gift those individual pieces. Uh, it's not cheating. It's just been very frugal. 202019 is the item number. Now, we're still with soft crafting, really, because we've got some threads for you. These are rayon threads, so you've got that lovely sheen to these. Absolutely beautiful. Now, the colours may vary, but once again, you're going to get a lovely selection. In this particular box, you can see we've got variegated in there, you've got bright, you've got a little bit of pastel in there as well. Um, these are beautiful, actually. Absolutely gorgeous. Ten reels. I don't know if we... Do we know how much is on each reel? Oh, we're not sure, but there's a lot. Let me just show you. Look, there's an awful lot on each reel. If, if it wasn't the end of the day, if it wasn't the last final shot, get Jack measuring one of those out for us, but I think that would be a bit cruel right now. <laughs> I think it'd just take a little bit too long, don't you? And then he's got to roll it all back up again. And then if any knots get in it, he's got to spend time undoing the knots. Oh, I could be here for a month. <laughs> and... Then, yeah, we might let him borrow the uh, quilter's rule just to measure it out. Oh dear. And just to be careful, just to be safe, you know, you just in case somebody's been pinching a bit off this, we'd have to have him measure every single one of those just in case to check. Jack, get going. Oh, I can't quite reach social distancing and all that. There we are. 10.99 is the price for these. You are saving 11 pounds. 016747. That is the item number. Really lovely threads, those. I like those. Uh, we're still staying with the soft crafting theme, actually. Do you need some new scissors for dressmaking? Do you know, it's not just dressmaking. It's trouser making as well. <laughs> Oh, just cutting any fabrics. Uh, these are lovely. I do like these because you've got that rainbow effect. They're very elegant, aren't they? Like a mermaid's tail. Really beautiful. And there is some weight behind these. And I'm saying that not because I'm thinking, oh, are they going to be too heavy? It's simply because you can tell the quality of something by the weight of them. They're really nice. I wish I could take these out and cut with them, actually. I don't think... I don't think... I don't know if we've got any fabric... I, um, I like the sound of scissors when they're cutting through fabric. No, I haven't got any fabric unless I cut the bottom of my dress off, which wouldn't really be a great idea, would it? 
14 pounds and 69 pence is the price for these now these are 21 centimeters that's the length of the scissors themselves really nice indeed 14 pounds 69 you are saving five pounds and 30 pence just another reminder if you're going to get these for your fabrics please don't use it on your paper because it does blunt them keep them especially do you know if you want to buy them for your paper you could do that nothing to stop you doing that they are scissors at the end of the day but just don't if you're going to use them fabric don't switch them around because it does spoil them right okay now we have did you notice mr baker i just said now ah ah now it's just something between me and mr baker uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you the. We've already. I've did these the other night actually. This is just a very sort of um, fine layer. That does look like a starry night. I might do another layer on there actually. These are going to look completely different on white. If I in fact show you the top of the cans there, um, I'm not going to show you that one because it's black. And I'll show you that in a second. We'll show you those three first: the blue, the green, and the aurora. Is what you've got there. So if you were going to go into white so that you get the true colours, they are very true to the colours you're going to get. Of course, if you go into black card, as I've got in front of me, you're going to get a different effect, but it still works. You do have a black one in there as well. Now, these are really nice spray cans. Now, you've got a really nice nozzle on these as well. They're very directional. You do get the ball bearing in there. Always give them a good shake. Um, I'm not going to shake it as long as you should do because I'll just be stood here all night. But then, if you want to just spray, don't go too heavy. Just a nice fine mist and build up those layers. Don't go in and think you're just going to cover everything all in one go. Build, build those layers up. Now, your uh, stencils as well. Using these with your stencils is wonderful. I do like that effect. I do just like that very sort of sheer, sort of misty effect there. And that's onto card. You can go onto much more than card with these. You could go onto MDF, onto wood, onto wicker, onto all sorts of different things. And you can blend these together as well. So if you go with more than one colour over the top of each and just let them blend, you won't get a hard line. You'll get a really nice diffuse blend. $17.99 is the price. Saving £6 on these. It works out at just £4.50 per can, which is a really, really good price for a spray paint. If you look at the price of spray paints in the DIY shop, you'll see what I mean. 113095 is the item number. Now we have Craft Yourself Silly MDF for you. Uh, this is another seven day saver. Now you've got enough here to make nine of these three dimensional stars. Uh, they come flat, obviously. So you can just put these together and all you need to do, you literally just slot these together. My top tip would be if you're going to decorate these with something that's got a lot of moisture in them, then uh, do paint them once you've put them together. It's best to put it on the desk as you slot those together. There you go. There we are. Now you could drill a little hole through the top if you wanted to and you could hang these together so you've got the three different sizes. So we've got the, this one's not fully together, but you've got the small, the medium and large. Oh, they're almost a Christmas tree like that, aren't they? Um, so just think about how you want to work with these. You could decorate them up, make them very glittery. You could use them in the middle of a table. You could put them on the windowsill. You could do whatever you want with these. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Five pounds saving on these. Two, three, eight, eight, five, one. That is the item number. Do you know, I, I'm hearing a bit of a conversation going on here. I don't know if Jack's just measured some of that thread. Have you been measuring thread, Jack? How much is on a reel? 600 metres. 600 metres on a reel? And it weighs 20 grams. It weighs 20 grams. Do you know how I know? How do you know that, Jack? It said on the box. <laughs> it did say on the box. <laughs> do you know, and I thought it had been sat in the corner there with his little rule. Oh, bless it. It did start. It did start measuring and then it got to 100 and then thought, I wonder if it does tell me on the box. So we checked. You didn't get any knots in it, did you, Jack? No knots in that thread? Hopefully not. <gasps> you better go and check. Uh, while we're checking for knots in the thread, let's say hello to our Alex. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. 
Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> You see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 88888. So don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Yes, they're back again. There's the clock. I just want to do that every time. Uh, right, there we are. We're going to remind you about all the happy hour deals now. Uh, we've been busy on this first bundle, really busy. Now, these, I, I do really genuinely like these. You've got all those cute little characters in here. You're getting 10 stamp sets here. You've got animals and sentiments, and there are a lot of sentiments. Some of them, there are a play on words, like the frog ones, on the, the unforgettable. Um, you've got the bears in there as well, sending you a big bear hug. You've got the little bees in the hive there, which is very nice. You've got all sorts of lovely designs here. I do like the fact that you've got all the, the relatives in there as well. Oh, what's that one say? I can't bear not seeing you on your... I can't bear not seeing you on your... Special. I'm, I'm having to... Re I've got a crick in my neck trying to read that now. I should have just picked it up and turned it round, shouldn't I? Uh, <laughs> you've got grandma, wife is in there, mother, father, mummy... Uh, on your, so you can make your senses up with your, your relatives as well. The cousins in there, you've got uh, goddaughter even, that's nice to have there. Godson, best friend, grandpa. Um, you've got first, you've got all those milestones in there as well. Really, really useful. Very useful indeed. Now you are getting 10 sets as I say, so we've got the ones that are in the front there. We do have more as well. Uh, we will show you still, but some of them, you know, more sentiments here. These are the actual stamps, aren't they? Where are the ones with the... Oh, I've lost my bit of card now. Oh. There we are. There's your cat. There's another one for you. Oh, how cute are they? Oh, look at the little fish bones. Then you have some more words. Have I got that the right way around? Oh, so you've got love and kisses anniversary. Oh, everything for all occasions there. Let's see what else we've got. One of my favourites. I adore the little paw prints. That isn't the right way around, although it doesn't matter for the dog or the paw prints, but it does for the words. There you are, just for you. Happy furry. Oh, have a furry happy birthday. Oh, that's clever. Uh, what else have we got here? We've got another one for you as well. Let's have a look at this one. We've got some more cats there. You've got the K. Oh, look at the little mouse. I'm turning it around because the word is the wrong way again. Let me turn that way. Look at the little mouse. 
Do you know, break this down. What does it work out per set? One pound and 39 pence per set. You're getting 99 individual stamps here. You are getting all of those. It's not a pick and mix. You are going to get all 10 of those. Do you know, if you're getting the children involved in crafting or they keep pinching your stamps, let them have these. Break these down into presents as well. These are not just for kids, though. They are for adults as well. I think this is an amazing buy. 176 597. That's the item number. You are saving a whopping. At 37 pounds. Remember, we're back onto the happy hour deals now, though, so that price will go up at the end of the hour. Now, another happy hour deal for you are the dies and embossing folders. I think these are really nice, actually. I will show you the back in a, se in a second because you can really see the detail of the design there. But I particularly like those bird cages and the birds. Very nice indeed. Lovely. Uh, you've got the butterflies as well and that lovely border there. Let me just turn this around so you can actually see the full detail that you're getting. I do like these a lot. Those birds are very useful as well. I mean, if you've got stamps and dies and things and you just want to cut a little bird out to sit on a branch, it would be beautiful. Use them together. Use them separately. There's nothing to stop you just using the embossing folder or just using an individual butterfly or bird. It's entirely up to you. £10 is the saving, £9.99 for both of them. So really, it's a buy. Buy one, get one free. Isn't it? That one or a half price, or whichever way you want to look at it. 349 269 is the item number, and they are from Crafts 2, I believe, as well. They're press cut dies and uh, embossing holders, but yes, it's Crafts 2 who supplied them. Lovely. Now, perhaps you're going for those and you want somewhere to store them. You could go for these. Now, while we've got the stocks, if you wanted to go for more than one of something, you certainly can do. As long as we've got the stocks, there's nothing to stop you going for multiples. Now, here we've got, we've got the wonderful storage cases. Now, each of them has got the sleeves in there. Really good. Oh, I didn't point this out either. I'm going to show you about the rings in, in a second. You've got the little pockets there, and you do have the magnetic sheets. Now, looking at the magnetic sheet, it does look as though these are single-sided, but actually that's quite good because that means if you've got something like the sets we've just had, the dies on one side, you could put the embossing folders on the other, or if it was just stamps and dies like Heartfelt Creations that all match together, then of course you'll keep everything perfectly organised. Now, what I was just going to mention about the the, uh, the rings in the middle. They're more of a D ring than an O ring. Can you see how they're straight on one edge and they're rounded on the other? That means when you turn those pages, they're going to sit perfectly flat. If they were rounded all the way around, you don't get them, they start to get bulky and things don't sit quite as flat as they should do. So this has been well thought out. And you've got a wonderful zip that goes all the way around, which makes a lovely noise. And then you've got a carry handle as well, so completely portable. Both of those for £24.98, you're saving £9 on those. They are from Oakwood Archer as well, 892-272. That is the item number if you want to go for those. Uh, do get your dies organised, of course. They will be looked after and kept very safe in cases like that. Now, when it comes to your consumables, then red liner tape is a really, really good one to go for. And genuinely, I, I can tell you that I've seen prices for red liner tape that have almost been that price that you can get these for, for one reel of the thicker stuff. And what you're going to get here is three rolls of three millimetres, three rolls of six millimetres, three rolls of nine millimetre, and three rolls of 12 millimeter. Now there are 60 meters in total because there's five meters on each. It works out at just 85 pence per roll. Now I'm going to ask our lovely Katie, because I, I don't think I can do this one in my head, not now, I think it's a bit late in the day. Um, if we've got 60 meters and the price is 10 pounds 20, how much per meter? Because a meter's a good length, isn't it? 17 pence per meter and you probably think well what's a meter from there to the end of my hand is a meter if you do that with your own arm that's a meter 17 pence that's going to do you a lot of boxes that is true that is true that is true it's about meter if you want to measure a piece of ribbon get a piece of ribbon put it on your nose and stretch your arm out that's it it's a meter it works it works Jack's trying it now. Jack's trying it. Yeah. It works. Just go and try it. 
Just go and try it. Let me know. Right. Okay. Just go for that. It's a great buy. Ten pounds and twenty pence. Item number three three zero seven three zero. That is the item you need if you want to go for this. Again, stock up on that while you can because that price is such a great price. Stock up because if you're going to make lots of gift boxes and things for Christmas, or you want to put glitter onto your red liner tape, you can do. Uh, peel offs. Now, you do get an assortment of designs and colours here, and I'm just thinking, do you know, it doesn't actually matter if you don't quite get the colour you want, because if you've got something like alcohol pens, you can colour these in anyway. So perhaps you'd got, let me just have to find something, like perhaps you go for one of the silver ones, and you wanted to colour it pink. Just scribble over the top with your pink alcohol pen. I'm just going to put that the right way up for you. Oh, a lot of them are upside down. But, do you know, you're going to get a sort of it. You might get this one, you might not. But if you're coloured over the top, you don't have to colour into the lines. Just go over the top as long as you're not going to, into another image. And then when you peel off, so for this one, you've wanted a pink crib. We've just done with that our pink pen. And then when you peel off, it would look really pretty. And all the detailed bits would be in pink. There we are. Do you know what else you can do with these as well? If you've got something like a piece of MDF, can I stick that on the back? No, I better, better put it back on the front, haven't I? If you stick them onto something um, and then go over with your inks or your sprays, you can peel them back off and use them as stencils as well. It does work. 235054 is the item number, just 9.99 for all 50 sheets assorted designs and colours. Now, how much are you putting in your baskets? Do you need to open up a Flexi basket? Flexi order has arrived at her chander. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on Flexi buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your flexi buy payments so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments after your first payment is made your entire order will be dispatched when you add at least 60 pounds worth of any items to your shopping baskets either online or on the phone you'll qualify for a flexi order offer this means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly flexi buy payments offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. I really feel as though I should be stood at this point thanking everybody. It's like an awards ceremony theme, that isn't it? It's like and I'd like to thank my producer, and I'd like to thank the floor manager, Jack. I'd like to thank my manager. I'd like to thank the whole team. Who have I missed out? Hmm. I'd like to thank Mr. Baker, who's our lovely director. Uh, because look, he's turned the set yellow for me. Hooray! We're back to our seven-day sensations. I've missed a word out. Seven-day, seven-day savour sensations. It's there, look. Uh, there you go. You are saving £20 on this pick and mix. £14.93 <laughs> for any six. We have had sellouts. We've had some more. Now you're looking here at garden creatures. You've got bunting there. You've got rose. You've got a smiling starfish there as well. Let's see what else we've got. I'm not sure which ones uh, are either gone or vulnerable. So I might start showing you and have to take one away. We've got... Oh, Dancing Dolphin is looking vulnerable. You need to be quick if you want to go for a wonderful Dancing Dolphin. What about the stylish star seahorse? Oh, he's limited stock. Limited stock. Be quick on that one then. Uh, we've got seashells and seaweed for you. Oh, they're still available. You're all right for, for the moment on those. What about the playful octopus? He's a nice chap. He's all right at the minute. You can go for him. You've got a cute crab if you want one. Yeah, he's fine. He's nice. Doesn't look like he's going to nip, does he, with those pincers? Um, I thought we had another seasidey one. Didn't we have a turtle? Oh, the turtle's gone. Oh, right. Don't know if we've got that here, but it went last time. We've got the butterfly for you. 
the delicate butterfly nonetheless. Great for stenciling. We've got the handbag for you, full of flowers. You could snip into that, you could paper piece into it, you could stitch into that as well. I like to turn that one around because it's such a good size actually. You don't realise how big that die actually is. Very nice indeed. They do vary in size these dies. Um, that's very pretty as well. I think you could have a lot of fun with that one by snipping into it and changing it around and bringing out the detail in the flower a little bit more by making it more three-dimensional maybe where the petals are. That's another one for you. We've got the Christmas tree with the bow. The bow could be used at any time of year, but it would look nice on the pot of the Christmas tree. Uh, the fairy lights, I do like these. I've actually used those. I've brought those into a show a while ago, actually. And they are very, very effective. And of course, you can colour those fairy lights in, in different colours if you wanted to. Ah, look who I found. There he is, the lapping turtle. Is he available or not? Oh, he's gone. Oh. What about the party hat and the balloon? You can still get that one. Lovely. Don't forget, these are not just for die cutting. You can emboss and you can stencil with them as well. Uh, in fact, have a bit of fun with them. You can play with these. You can do whatever you like with these. You can uh, put them onto party bags, onto cards, onto home decor pieces. Tell up to you. Now, what about our paper pads from Angela Poole? These are really, really nice. I'm going to flick through this one again, just to begin with. Now, remember with this one, 200 GSM, you're getting 30 A4 sheets in this one. There are 20 designs. So because there's 30 sheets and 20 designs, there must be more of some than another. I adore the colour palette of this. Absolutely love it. I think these are crying out for, you know, white embossing powder. A little bit of the wow glittery embossing powder would look lovely. Maybe just bringing out the detail in some of those strings of lights there. That would look nice as well. Whether you want to matte and layer with this, overlay with your parchment or your vellum, um, use your ink spritzes onto it as well, stamp directly onto it. It. there's an awful lot that you can achieve beautiful absolutely beautiful and not all of those I don't think are for Christmas you can get away with some of those uh, of the times of the year definitely this one you can use all year round I adore these as well 300 GSM that's what you've got in this one now with this one you've got uh, 24 double-sided sheets there's three of each design there's eight different designs all together beautiful I do like those sort of fruit salad colors gorgeous do you know and it makes a difference if i just turn that around that book just to see it look the other way around you, because you can use this portrait landscape have the yellow at this end or the other end it doesn't matter they're ever so nice i think these make great card bases but once again if you want to spray them if you want to ink them if you want to die cut into them if you want to layer them up then they are absolutely beautiful. £17.98 is the price. £9 is the saving. Item number 092124. Don't forget to check those happy hours out because you've got about six minutes left for those. The seven-day savers, while we've got them, will be around until Sunday morning at 8. We've already had some sellouts on some things, though, so if you want anything, please don't hesitate on those. Uh, we haven't got long left. John, that's the end of my five days, isn't it? I've got a few days off now. I've got lots to do at home and catch up on. Uh, it's been lovely having your company again. Thank you for keeping me here tonight. Um, I, do, I, I do hope you're actually been there because I don't know. I've not seen the tablet or anything. But thank you very much and I will see you very, very soon. Much more to come. Bye-bye. Now then, we've got All and Create One Day special, and then it's Pink Frog Crafts, and then we're following up with a happy hour show for you. What a lovely evening ahead. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while,